Hi, everybody. Welcome to TV on. My name is Lauren Blair. Thank you so much for joining us and happy Wednesday. Glad you're with us tonight. We have three hours live from Los Angeles, and we're so glad to have you with us on this special day. It is going to be a really exciting show. Uh, let me just start with the headline. The headline is we have an incredible tan tonight and it is a round, but I know we had our last round. What we thought was the last round in our 10 carat about a week ago, and now today we're going to bring out a not only the size everybody loves, but the shape everybody loves and a mounting that everybody loves. So needless to say, this one's going to be very popular, which is why I want to get you familiar with it up front because it's a very special stone. It's about four carat and it's around and it's in a great kind of like the new signature style that we're going to see. So we're really excited about that. It's got a lot of diamonds, but it's still very wearable. So we're looking forward to that and uh, we'll get into how we got this round when there were no more. And this means this will be our last one. And this is what I know everybody's going to love. So it's not too late yet to get your blue wing vlog D, but we also have a really special yellow diamond. We've got a one carat of one for you today. It's going to be a beautiful classic setting as well. Some Morganite is here. Some turquoise studs are here. You don't see that every day. There's some really great affordable uh, sizing that we're going to show you really great for multiple piercings or gift ideas as well. And then we do have a lot of brand new designer pieces as well coming up in the show. We're going to see some really unique designer styles that we've loved of late, but this is even a little more exotic. We've got some ideas that are really um, specialty, like a big, big turquoise in a really high end 18 karat gold. And uh, we've got some special opals for you as well as Quite a few of the big pendants are here in exotic stones. We're going to see um, actually something we don't see all that often, not considered an exotic, but it is around here. We have a peridot that's coming up in this uh, special designer piece for you. It's really large. It's impressive. So if you love the exotics, they're all here tonight, and we're so glad you're with us to see them all. Plus, we're going to have some returning favorites like our hoop earrings. These are the kind of like the huggy that works for everybody style. It's uh, almost like a little subtle heart shape. And then we also have a new white diamond ring. It's actually a white diamond that's going to be set in such a way that it's a little bit, um, let's just say it's a new angle and it's a new twist on a diamond ring. So we'll talk about that as well. Plus some wheels that are assorted blowouts are here. We can't have a Wednesday without some blowouts, right? So we'll get you through the midpoint of the week here. Showcase a lot of great pieces. Remember how important it is to dial in early on these one of a kind so that you can get in before they're gone. So it's a very special night to be shopping. Are you ready to get started? We've got an amazing, amazing showcase for you. I got to tell you and anything you want to request to I mean, we'd love to hear your request because honestly, we've got probably a good hour for uh, just requests. So don't hesitate to get those into us. We'll help you out with those. But um, are you ready to see what we've got? And again, anything you're looking for, let us know. We're happy to help you out. I'm um, real quick before we get started. I got to say a special shout out uh, to number 10, who is just uh, again, very, very important person celebrating an important day. So uh, very special wishes to you and uh, we're ready to get going with our fabulous gold quartz. Take a look at this. This is a really cool stone and actually it is going to be our are really beautiful round. I mean, this is what's crazy. We saw around maybe once and it was huge. And so it tended to be that, you know, 25 carat that not everybody could get in on. This is more of a little bit more affordable round here and it's going to be item number 1123326 and it's going to be a very affordable way to get a round gold quartz. So get ready. It's um, two carats 80 on the round. Loving this one. Plus it's got clusters of diamonds that almost takes that trillion kind of look, but gives it in round brilliance. So 280 plus 42 points in the diamonds on either side you got going on. So it's really going to fill up that side to side when it's actually on the hand. Now you can actually change the gold here. Although I think with the natural yellow gold that you got 24 carat pure. That's the gold that's in the gemstone, of course, and then what's around it, 14K. So you can have that 24 karat gold when it's found in a gem because that's, of course, its natural form. A little too soft to use in jewelry, but of course, when it's embodied and embedded in that quartz gem, it's all safe to wear every day. So you get metal, you get gem, you get all in a round stone, and it's going to be the beautiful look that you're going to see here. Now I'm going to show it on the hand. We're going to go side to side on this one because you can see it's not going to really, um, it's not going to give you a lot of the gold band by itself. It's just going to really fill up the finger with those diamonds and that gem in the center. So really special look. $29.99 should be. We're going to mark everything down for you. It's uh, a very, very special night. And i got to say, um, I missed you guys on Monday. Had a little um, unexpected emergency surgery Monday morning. So uh, big thanks to Joy for filling in because uh, it was uh, it was necessary. You guys know I don't miss a show unless something really, really important is going on. So uh, anyway, 
all should be good to go from here on forward. Let's hope so again. Thank you for all the well wishes and all the concern and uh, glad to be here tonight so we can shop together once more. But here we are with a really, really, really good gold quartz. That's actually going to be less than $2,000 and less than $1,000 too. So how about this? We're going to make it 999 and that'll be it on a very, very special stone and cannot wait to see who's got that one because it's one only. We'll change the gold if you want it in the white or the rose gold instead. And then we're going to talk about the big turquoise. I mean, this is oh, love a good turquoise. So we've got a really good one coming up. If you love a unique cut, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever had this cut in turquoise before. So get ready. That's on the way next. So I'd like to give you a little verbal heads up of what's coming. Oh, and by the way, do you remember the last time we had a big event? It was a big sale event. We actually had um, the most popular item or category by far was our slices of diamond earrings. Do you guys remember? And we ended up bringing out what we thought was every single pair in the inventory. And it was at the time, but we got one new one for you tonight. So if you missed out by any chance, if you were missing out on all those different pairs and styles of the um, slice, you know that where basically it's like natural slices of diamonds, which gives you that big hero weight. We've got a pair today. So we'll get to those early on, but this one's only going to be 30 more seconds. And then we're going to get to a new turquoise. We've got the free form opal coming up. If you you are independence necklaces and uh, brooches. We've got a lot of options for you tonight. And then of course, we're going to actually going to bring back a favorite in our cross necklace. We've got a whole necklace, not just the pendant, but the cross necklace for you. Plus designer styles throughout the show. All right, so we're going to keep going. We've got the big turquoise on the way. And I'm going to start with this one on the hand because that's where it is just so important to see the size. And then you'll notice, wait a minute, is that a different cut than we're used to seeing? And the answer is, yeah, it is. This is a Marquise cut. In this turquoise, take a look at that, and it's going to be a brand new style, 1123695 five, coming up for you with this gorgeous, as usual, cabochon cut for the turquoise, yes, but then all framed in gold. Basil set, and then this great look around it, which is almost like, I don't know, it's giving me like floral with bouquet with maybe a little bit of this extra kind of elegant flame design all the way around it. It's all 18 karat gold, no less. So we're really excited to have this one. And it's an eight karat 95 marquee. So that is not a cut we see very often with a cabochon or with a turquoise. So pretty excited to have that. But then you're getting 27 points in diamonds and we want to get you the farther away perspective first. And then here it is from a measurement perspective. So you can see there it's going to be about, let me see here if I can, I'm barely holding on to this bale. So, and I'll show you the finishing it has as well, but it's going to be about almost an inch and a half there, top to bottom. We'll show it on the neckline coming up as well. And then you'll get to see that size, how it translates on the neckline, which I'll do for you now. So take a look at this one, just to give you an idea of what that's all about. There it is from a distance. So you can really check out that size, that color, which is glowing. I mean, completely, completely glowing there in that color we love. And it is going to be, and I think the diamond weight, what did I say it was? 22 points, 27. I'll, I'll, like, when, as soon as I can look down, I'll, I'll be able to get that for you. But how about that for a look? Now we're going to show it up close as well, because you got to see the details and the finishing that this has. There's that turquoise. Again, we are not into the composite or the stabilized material. We always want to bring you that kind of slab of turquoise, but it's 27 points in diamonds. There we go. And it's going to be a really special look. You see there's bigger diamonds. There's some pave wrapping as a ribbon around. I love that it's like like a fluid continuous ribbon of 18 karat gold that wraps around it. But I also want to show you, this is so impressive. Look at the under gallery where you can see there is a little matrix from the back, which again, showing that that is um, natural through and through turquoise that we love to see, but you get a little glimpse of that through the back of the stone. And then of course that great looking under gallery with your carrot weights actually inscribed on the inside too. So you never need to worry about that, but take a look and then I will preview that round. So if you're Curious what that's all about. We've got that round hands and I will give you a little preview of it coming up, but that's going to be a uh, quick, quick value here. It's supposed to be $47.99. We're going to try something a little different and you can see that bale is going to be plenty sizable. So if you want to put like a diamonds by the yard chain, obviously that's very popular to use as pendant chains when you are a TV on shopper, right? Or if you want to use one of your bigger, thicker, heavier gauge chains at all, we've got that option for you because of the larger size bale and it's going to be 9.99. Let's just send it on out really quickly so that we can get it a move on. And then we've got those slice earrings coming up, which are so pretty, really unique. And they're going to get you almost two carats and diamonds. But I promise you no other way to get two carats and diamonds this affordably. There are some Pata Evas here that are Brazilian and we're going to show them in a literal floral design. So pretty. So we'll see that as well. And then oh, one of my favorite combinations we've ever seen takes me back 
One of the first pieces of jewelry I ever presented on TV way back when had this combination of pinks and oranges. Wait to see this. I'm going to give you a little preview right there. Look at those colors. Pinks, peaches, and purples all together. It's so pretty. So we'll see that. Another new style of pendant, but a lot to get to. And don't forget about the gold quartz or the turquoise pendant for $9.99. Yes. Hi. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. Oh, was it he or she? Oh, okay. Michael. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And just happy to be here. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate all your kind words. But here we go. Coming up, we've got some preform opal on the way. This is very nice. So this is another pendant. So get ready because we got a lot of them today. But look at how beautiful this is. Kind of a similar look. You can tell the same designer did it, right? This beautiful way that this wraparound design creates around a free form, a little bit more like an elongated trillion, but technically we call it a free form. It's going to be 1123077. And uh, what a special piece this is. 14K this time around. It's that genuine. We're talking about black opal here on Australia's Lightning Ridge. Such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And you can see it's got those fiery greens amidst a backdrop of bright cobalt blues. So it's really extremely important. And it's an 85 point free form black opal. This will have the, that's one single diamond. So it's got actually, they call it one point. And so one single fully faceted bezel set diamond that's right up top of your piece. It is yellow gold only, stays as is. Let's just give it away, shall we? I mean, this is what we're all here to do. Give you a great, great Wednesday night full of brand new pieces and exciting styles. And we'll take a look at it on the hand here as well. So you can see there what it's going to look like size wise. So you can get a look at what that's all about. That's what it looks like. So you're going to get a lot of negative space to this one too. The way the gold wraps around at a distance from the bezel of that stone. And then of course, here it is with a about seven eighths of an inch from top to bottom there. You can see it's a little over that that three quarter of an inch mark and then we'll show it on the neckline for you but it's not going to be 9.99 so i've had two pieces tonight all at under a thousand dollars and we're going to make this a little bit more affordable for you just so you can have a really nice value and just get something that is exquisite in that 85 point stone which you see looks larger than that that we realize it's always going to look larger than you know opals always do that whether it's crystal opals black opals fire opals they'll always give you that because they are no matter what category they fall into they are a water-based stone so they've got less density so you're getting that larger look and it's not even going to be 888 or 777 or even 699 dollars we're trying to give away some pendants here and then we'll get to our diamond slice earrings which i know have been in very hot pursuit and big demand so we're going to show those next but this one's going to be 5.99 instead just to give away an opal that is very very special and yes a free form shape and cut that we love so that's a good one there and we're so proud to have a value like that at 599 dollars okay so that's gonna be um 30 seconds on that one then we'll get to those slice earrings that are waiting in the wings here that are really just there's something about and i see why you guys love them but honestly once you try them you might love them even more because they're so lightweight, yet they make a statement. So that's hard to get in an earring. So we'll have that next. And those are going to be, again, love to give you a heads up because we had a lot of people miss out on our diamond slice earrings. And we're going to get you one more pair. And then again, if you missed the alert at the beginning of the show, we have a round blue wing block D and it's about four carats, which tends to be the size that everybody's always looking for. So we'll bring that to you coming up in just a few, maybe about an hour or so, maybe not even that long. We won't wait too long to get to that. And then here they are. We're going to show you the slice earrings. I'm going to go ahead and grab one here and show you what they're all about. This is the shepherd's hook design that we love. And I'm going to show one here and then I'll go ahead and get you the next one. We're going to show them on the hand because this is going to be a triple one ninety seven seventy five and you're going to have solid 14 K. I'm just going to go ahead and show you slip on the other one here for you. So separate them a little bit so you can see how they look from a distance away, but that's the beauty of them. They've got almost like this mobile style with that shepherd's hook that's going to give you a drop and give you a little bit of movement. And then don't forget, there's the same look front and back. So they're always going to have that little bit of translucency to them. And it's a carat 86 in what are free form natural diamond slices as we call them and you've got an inch and a half in the length here so solid gold and that's going to be framed in the bezel overall creates that pear shape and then you've got all those free form stones within it and you see there's a translucency now are they going to sparkle like a vs round brilliant 58 facet tolkowski round not the same way they have instead more of a shimmer to them so they still give you a lot of that wow factor and yet i think you know for somebody who said if i told you we have oh there goes one and that's okay because i'm going to try that one on anyways but let me 
try to show you up close what they look like also so you can see because I think we get a lot of questions about what is that going to look like when it's um, up close? Am I going to see little naturals? Yes, the answer is yes. This is diamond in its more rough state here. So that's really what's important. And then I'll go ahead and try one on for you as well. So just so you can get an idea and then I'll just pop one on really, really quickly so you can see one here. I can't do two things at once and hold one, but at least you can see them on now. So you can get another idea of what they're all about. And you can just see how that shimmer is going to give you that great look that you're seeing there. So you see how they have that translucency and shine to them. That's so, so pretty. And then of course you've got something that's lightweight, something that's making that statement, but it's really airy and lightweight. So it's almost kind of casual. And I think that if I said we got two carrots uh, in diamond earrings that you're going to wear every single day, you might think, mm, that might not be my exact style, but you can see this is a really casual way to wear about two carats and diamonds. Plus, they're under $1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time up close here, show you what that's all about uh, size-wise and how that setting works and how the same is. That's the back side and that's the front side. So you see that no matter what, if you've got that shorter hair or you've got that hair up or back, you're still going to have the same earring front and back. And so you see there's still a rough facet to them as well. They're not just a completely organic nugget. It. It's actually going to have a little bit of that, almost like a rose faceting to it, but they're under a thousand. They're not 999 or 888. And I think it looks like once upon a time they were supposed to be 777. We're going to do better. I know there's been demand. This is the last pair that we have and uh, we're so excited. It's kind of like we've really found a couple of hidden treasures in the vault today with the round tanzanite and now our diamond slice earrings pieces that we previously thought we had nothing left of. And you know what? If you want those, Jason, we'll make them even better than 699. Extra discount on me. Let's make them $599 for the pair. And that will be it. There's only one pair. And of course, here's the other. So remember, this is that shepherd's hook style. So remember, it's just going to pop right onto your pierced ear and then take a look. There it is. That's the other one. So you can see front and back there. I mean, it's just a cool way to do something that really has that. We're seeing a lot of that trend towards very organic looking gems. Sometimes that's in obviously gemstones if they're natural are really organic in a way because they're from the earth. But we talk about organic gems is usually being from a living organism, right? This is like the cutting is what makes it a very organic aesthetic. And that's what I love about them. That just kind of gives them a more casual feel. So $5.99 on those. Then we're going to move right along. We got a lot to show you and hopefully we'll get a request or two. And then we've got a discount on some of our world famous huggy earrings that are really the huggy that works for everybody because not all huggies do but this style really revolutionized the way we think of huggies and um, you know Pam hi Pam I, I don't know let me see if we have an elongated fire opal Alyssa would you be able to check in the back and see if we have any elongated she wants an elongated fire opal in a ring so that might mean like an elongated oval or maybe an emerald cut they aren't usually elongated they're going to be calibrated stones typically Pam but let me see what, if we can find anything that might suit your needs there I don't have any fire ovals in front of me tonight and then let me know on the slice earring. So $5.99. Okay, coming up. Let's get to it. We're going to get to a really, really fabulous pair of earrings. I know we've got pendants, we got earrings, and trust me, there will be rings. But we are going to show you this really special pair of turquoise studs. I'm going to move those diamond slices aside. Keep in mind, you can still grab those if you like. And take a look at this turquoise stud that we used to do in a really, really large size. I'm going to just say, I know this was something that was by popular demand we created for you because we were all were looking for something not huge, not something that was a buttons down necessarily, but something really, really versatile and wearable. And this is fitting that bill. No doubt about it. Still in solid gold. There's almost like a frame um, in the basket there. So it's got a really nice foundation of the gold to it. It's going to be 112397. This is our very special earring and yes, it's going to be workable in any piercing whatsoever. So if you are trying to create and build that really cool earscape and you're looking for different ways to do that, whether it's mixing studs or hoops, whether it's mixing color with diamonds, whether it's mixing and matching different looks. Let me just say something about these earrings here because we have 1123797. One, these will definitely not last. We know that there are very few pairs to go around. That's the problem. It's 60 points in turquoise. I would put the carrot weight aside. That's not really what's crucial here. What is crucial is the affordability level we're going to bring you so that you can stack them. I know I like to buy um, earrings practically in bulk. And so that's really where, again, this price tag is going to come in handy because they are less than $1,000 for sure. And when you talk about natural sleeping beauty, keep in mind a lot of what you see that might look like this elsewhere. A lot of times is, we've talked about this already with the pendant that we had that was nine carats in size. A lot of times it's reconstituted. It's essentially powder of turquoise that's glued together. 
That's not the case here. These are beautiful round studs. They have a piercing blue color as well. These are not the lighter. They are really bold. They're really rich. They're very much, again, for being a cabochon, they have a great polish to them as well. So they have, in a way, a bit of a glow to them, but they are gonna be super, super affordable. And that's the beauty of it. Set in solid gold, your choice of gold color, white, yellow, or rose. You can mix and match as you please. Think about doing that. Get as many as you need, but this is going to be the wow price tag that we don't get to do. But I thought since it's early in the show, and I know it takes a minute to get everyone going on a Wednesday like this one, we're gonna make sure that we give away some jewelry for our early birds and make sure that this is giftable. This is something that I know everybody can wear from even the younger gals because the size is just right. So it's not just about where in the ear you're wearing them, but also I think age appropriate for everybody really runs the gamut there any gold you want but they're solid gold so even the younger gals that maybe you don't want them wearing the costume jewelry because you're worried maybe it's a fresh piercing for the younger gals as well maybe it's you that has a new piercing and you want something that obviously is still going to give you that great solid gold so we know that it's going to be more or less hypoallergenic uh, hypoallergenic than your costume jewelry we can give you a costume jewelry price on fine fine jewelry in a turquoise that is the best of the best. This is what is so specialty. This is what the whole world is clamoring for. This is what's tough to find. Even if you have every gem connection in the world, like we do, it's really tough to get yourself anything in the Sleeping Beauty variety. And so to get matched up rounds like these are, to get them set up in solid gold like these are, all of that together, and yet not going to be anything like 9.99 they are a price tag we don't get to see very often and that's why i wanted to introduce them to you early show you the kind of values that we're going to have throughout the show and giftable i don't get to see that very often how many pieces of fine jewelry are giftable and keep in mind we got mother's day coming up we're approaching mid-april here so we have got may around the corner we're thinking about mom's day we're thinking about all those i know the weather <laughs> hopefully is getting lovely where you are i hope so my goodness it was 92 degrees driving in today so and we got of course beginning of the season of heat it means there's no air conditioning because that is the tv on studio for you every single year but again it's one of those things where if you're starting to see the sunshine and starting to get warmer weather you're excited about you're also thinking about events and you're thinking about all the lovely you know outdoor activities and the great events when you're seeing more people and that's where again you might need a gift idea right i don't like to arrive to any event empty-handed i don't like to arrive anywhere empty-handed i like to have something to you know show love and appreciation but obviously we can't always spoil our loved ones with the thousand dollar earrings so let's make them 4.99 and make it a better price or how about this we'll make it even better really want to light these phone lines up and welcome you into a wednesday where we're going to see some really incredible ideas yes i'm going to show them from all the angles because i will and i do and that's what we make sure you see everything you need to know about your earrings but what if they're not even 4.99 or 3.99 keeping in mind that gold and we're busy on the lines already keeping in mind that this is a centered post Solid gold, butterfly backing, basket work, four prongs, right? All of that is great. Like I said, this is not, we've done a gigantic turquoise and a lot of you said, that's too big. I don't need that for every day. I want something smaller, more wearable, more casual, but still packs a punch when it comes to the color. Well, this is exactly what that does. Almost a quarter of an inch in diameter, almost. And then we'll show one against the ear and we'll just remind you that this is why it works. Front, meaning primary piercing or whatever it is, all the way on up. You can really have some fun with these earrings, and that's why gifting appropriate, especially at this price tag. This is what they look like from a distance away, just so you can see that color popping as it does there. You can really see how that's going to work, and then imagine that just moving all the way back up the ear. But even with, I've got a little side bang going on, and it's creating a shadow, and yet, Kind of interesting to see how bright that Sleeping Beauty turquoise still is. It's not even $399 or $299. What? Because I know that this gold by itself, the finding by itself, is more than that in the wholesale world. That's just a testament to where gold's at. We'll take another look at them close up. We'll get you a better value. I know we're busy on the lines already. Think about getting more than one pair because this is just, I mean, everybody knows with gold being where it's at, this is where fine jewelry just cannot go. And we want to do a little giveaway here early on. I know Jason's already got a pair. You might want to think about getting more than one. Why not? You got the opportunity right here, right now. Take as many as you need. Just, just even if you're not really sure, who are those going to be for? Who's on my gift list this spring, this summer? Who do I need something special for? 
You just got to get a couple extras and you never know, you might end up wearing them all yourself. We've had stud earrings be such a good value that actually in earrings have been the inspiration behind our customers getting more piercings because they love our earrings so much and they got so many because of the value, they want to have more. They want to have more room to stack those earrings and stack those values. This is where you can do that and it's not even going to be $299 for the pair. How about that? $250 would mean four pairs for under $1,000. That's what the price on one should have been. And no, we're not talking about one single earring because every designer is doing that right now. We're talking about a pair no matter what. I don't think we're going to be um, that designer or that retailer that ever sells single earrings because that's just not how we roll. If you can bring the values like we do, we're going to make sure you always get the best of the best. And it's not even going to be $249 a pair. This is unlike we see. And how many would you like? That's what you're going to tell your operator. How many would you like to have? Yes. Thank you. Oh. oh, good. Well, the opal pendant and the turquoise pendant have just sold. And, you know, the turquoise pendant would match these earrings, too. So you can get any gold you want. So here's what we'll do. Not even $200. We're going to make them $199 a pair for turquoise stud earrings in solid gold. That's what's really amazing. And Anita, thank you. I will um, get I will let our jewelry department know. Thank you so much. Oh, good. Pam, we did find you a lovely elongated pear-shaped fire opal. So we'll show that coming up next, Pam, if you're ready. And then we've got, let me see. Okay, we already got another pair going out. Thank you, Jason. How many for you? Two more pairs over here. And then Alyssa, how many for you? One more pair over here and you've got two. Okay, so Tim's taken two. Allison's taken one. Alyssa's got one. We have now Alyssa and Allison sitting next to each other. See, it's turning, yeah, it used to be only, we only admitted J names. <laughs> <laughs> the Jasons, the Jesses, the Joyces, the Joannes, and now we've got all the, the we got the Allisons represented. Allison, Alyssa, we got all the Alice represented really well. So $1.99, and um, I'm tempted to say $19.99 because that's more of a price tag we're accustomed to, to seeing, and yet here they are for $199. We're going to give them 60 seconds, then we got to go. We've got, again, a lot of pieces from earlier going out right now. Thank you for your patience waiting on the line because I know they're busy lines right now. We still have our gold quartz, which we started the show with, if you'd like that. And turquoise, who says you can't get fine jewelry for a price tag like that? All right, Pam, are you ready for the fire opal? We'll do that next. 45 seconds away from our fire opal in, wow, this is a truly, I mean, this is it. This is exactly what we needed to see. It, I didn't even think there was anything really elongated. We have a pear shape, which naturally is elongated, but this one even more so than the typical. Okay, last call. And coming up, the fire opal on the way, 112-0915, coming up. Please grab your turquoise earrings. They're too pretty to leave there, and that's too good a value where it might be that point where you wake up one day and go, oh, you know what would be perfect? Do you ever do this? Like, I think about, I have this kind of like, I don't know what we should call it. We should probably name it something. There's like a, a syndrome for it, whereas a shopper, you remember something that you had the opportunity to get, and then it'll hit you, whether it's weeks or months or sometimes years later, and you go, oh, you know what would have been perfect? It would have been perfect if I had those turquoise stud earrings. That would have been perfect. And again, then of course, are they ever available when you need them? No. So this is where you can get something very special. Get them now. Like I said, it sounds crazy to say buy something when you're not even sure necessarily who you're going to give it to. Make sure you though get a pair for yourself because you're going to want to have these turquoise in your collection as soon as you see them at home. They're just too pretty. I mean, they really are. Take a look one more time and then let's get to the fire opal i think this is just i know we've been trying to find you the right one pam i don't know this might be it and it's five carats 38 oof It's juicy is what it is. Can't stop admiring it. We'll take a look. Good. Pam's ready. <laughs> I love it. She says, ready. <laughs> I love that. In an email, she says, I'm ready. All right. So let me go ahead and zoom back. I'm going to zoom back a little bit here because I think we're going to need some extra room. That's for sure. Okay. Here we go. Just wanted it. Yep. There's the, that is so beautiful. I know that pear shapes are an elongated cut. This one is just perfection. And the way this pear shape takes what is the cherry red colors, the orange, the neon reds, the cherry pinks almost, you know, like a cherry is not really like red red, like a fire engine, it's more like a really specific tone of almost pinky red. That's what this has. And if you look at the base of the stone there, it's almost like concentrated hot fuchsias. If you really look overall, very orangey red, 
And then you realize those are hot pinks. I've noticed this with just a couple fire opals we've had. This is our 538. It's got a full carat 28 in diamonds. This is actually a take on the signature mounting, but custom design for this stone because that is, as you know, super elongated. And so shout out to our jewelry department who went out in the vaults and found this perfect elongated stone because that would be all that we have that's really, truly elongated. And so that custom made halo is done around it. Then it's got the split shank. Then it's got the diamond in between. And yes, that glow you're seeing in the back of the ring, that's not some crazy spotlight we just installed up above in the seat. That's the stone. And there's reds and there's pinks and there's oranges and there's yellows. All happening just from the light penetrating the stone and casting this glow behind it. It really is specialty. Let me try it on because it's a big ring. Remember, we always have to make sure, especially with opals, we have to make sure, and this one's a little bit smaller size right now, but I'm going to force it on anyways because that is not a pinky ring, right? So this is a 1120915, and we're so thrilled to have it. You can see the size because obviously in no way is that going to look like a five carat if it were anything else. That's what's really true about opals. They look double, if not more. This one definitely is given a 10 carat plus look. Let me reverse it. It's going to take me a second to take it off because it's a five right now. And that is not quite my size, especially when it's a balmy temperature in here. But take a look. There it is the other way. That's what it looks like this way. And then you can see diamonds purposely set all the way from one side to the other. And it's going to be, oh, how about this? $14,799 where it started. Forget about it. We're not doing $7,000. 400, which is half off. We're doing better than that. Actually, we could take it more than even that 75% off because even now we're talking about $3,700. Well, it's going lower and we just took 75% off what it should be. So one more time here up close. And then remember, actually, you can if you want to change the gold color. So the yellow gold is how it's set now. You're not going to see a lot of gold when it's on the hand, as you saw there, but it can be changed and it's not even $3,500. Really tough to get something like this of this size and yet not 3000 not $29.99. We're going even lower. This is a brand new discount too. This is wonderful. So not only is it a piece that comes out by request, it gets a new discount on the way out to the studio and it's not even $28.88 or $27.99. We're going even lower than that. First caller. It's going to be $2,777. I'm throwing in the lucky sevens right there for you just to make sure that that one goes to the first caller that says, give me the best fire opal you got. That's got to be it. Color wise, size wise, the cutting is beautiful. You can see the clarity. Obviously, that's always the case with an opal, right? A fire opal, at least not the the other opals. Black opals usually are opaque, right? And then the crystal opals usually have some kind of translucency or transparency, but this is just gemmy rich and like I said I'm gonna use that term again I think it's juicy it really is you see this almost like it just looks vibrant and rich and is it red is it orange is it pink or is it yellow golden it's all those colors coming together as one now we've got a pod for Russia you know the little mini saddle ring which isn't so many that it's oh, so in demand. I don't know why we're not seeing it more often, but um, it is a pretty complex design. We've got a pod parasha in the mini saddle. And then don't forget, Brazilian Padaibas are coming up. A really special Imperial Topaz is here. We've got the biggest Congolese tourmaline. If you've missed it, it's a 788. Brought that out for another look tonight. Big rubies are here. I mean, it's a nice variety. And we even have a Congolese stone that's got the blues and greens that's not going to be a huge, huge size, but actually a two carat 12. So that's going to be more on the affordable side. And then Peridot. I mentioned we have a Peridot. And if you missed our Tanzanite necklace in a full necklace the whole time around. I mean, this designer piece coming up. Great looking Tanzanite. So that's the fire opal. Best we got for elongation there. And then I'm going to show you, we might as well get to it. Here's the pod Barasha. So we'll stay right up close. And I just had to show this to you. And I'm going to tell you, I would really switch this to white gold just with the tone of the color that we have in this pod Barasha. It's 1123257. And so it's a very, very special color. It's got some, it's more pinky purple golden, but it definitely has the richness of an exotic sapphire. It's a good size as well. That's going to be a 1123257. I wouldn't wait too long on this one because I don't think this one's going to stick around. It's one of the more affordable pod barrages we also have ever had. So let's put that in perspective right now because I think a lot of people hear the word pod barasha and know that all those vowels and all those consonants put together and what can be a tricky word to spell usually just spells big price tag. It might as well just be a row of dollar signs because when you see Pod Barasha Sapphire, that's usually what it equates to. That's not going to be the case here at all. Not going to be. And yet, what are you missing? It's a carat 10. It's unheated, untreated. That's super rare to find. Then that diamond weight, this isn't 
your eyes deceiving you or your screen on a different setting than normal. It's actually the big saddle ring, but it's scaled down a bit, still giving you a nice width, still giving you almost a carrot and diamond, still giving you all the detail and the workmanship that that piece entails, but it's not going to be oversized. You know, our original saddle ring really does go knuckle to knuckle. This one is a little more condensed. It's a little more compact while still making a statement. So all that said, Get on the phone lines, especially if you've been looking for a really, really affordable pod parasha, because this is it. And it's, I think, going to be a surprise because a lot of people assume I can't quite get a pod parasha. You can if you know where to shop. And I know we don't have them often, but it's here and it's now and it's ready to go. And it's white, yellow or rose gold. So you get the choice there. This is the way it's finished. That might look familiar because that's the same type of finishing we've always seen with our major saddle ring and you can see we kind of set up that stone a little bit give it a little openness behind the stone so you can get a lot of light show off the clarity show off the colors and remember that finishing the rest of the way and you see here take a look at the side profile of this ring so you can see the different textures that you have it's not just all one level. I think a lot of people see this and they immediately think it's just pave on one level. It's not, it's got ups and downs, ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys, and that's a complicated design to do for that reason. And then you've got that little bit of that fold over style. So, and I mean that by the cleft that's at the top and the bottom there, that little bit of that indentation, it is supposed to be, I kid you not, is on this bag. I don't know if you can read that, but it's $59.99, $59.99. Should be, it's not. It's not going to be anywhere close. And this is not a small stone. Sapphires, even the most basic of colors like the basic blues, if they're one carat or over, tend to be really, really pricey. That is not the situation here. Get on those phone lines, make sure you get it. What can we tell you except is going to be a deal. I mean, I can tell you that much. And it's not even going to be half of this price at $3,000. At $29.99, I really think we could give that 30 seconds and it's going to be gone. But it's nowhere near $29.99 either. Take a look at this and much, much better in price. And remember, it changes the look completely if you do go with the white or if you do go with the rose. Even though it's diamond intense and diamond encrusted from side to side, it's still going to really change the look. So if you want to show off a little more contrast with the pinks, go with the white gold. If you want to really change the look and soften the pastel, bring out the pastel pinks, go with the rose gold. But I tell you what, it's not even going to be $29.99. We have one piece. Are you ready for it? $19.99 is the blowout on that pod barasha that is over one carat in size. I am so loving the combination we're going to see next. We're going to stick with sapphires that actually Imagine that ring with this pendant, especially if you are you getting the pot barasha? Hey, Jason, especially if they decide to get white gold on that ring, look at this matching. I'm just saying those are sapphires too. So just a little heads up since the pot barasha is gone. This would be a piece that coordinates beautifully with it because those are pinks, purples and a pot barasha right there. All different. And this one is a buy. It's such a bargain. It's one, one, two, three. 694. Oh my goodness. Pendant. I'm even going to show you. Let me try on that ring when I do show this on the neckline so you can see how lovely it looks together. It's 18 karat solid gold. I'm telling you, you're going to be absolutely blown away by this price tag. Let me show you the ring here real quick because I just realized I didn't try that on. So, and it's a tiny size. Do you want to see that on the hand? There's the pot barasha. So there's the pot barasha. It was sold before I could even try it on. That's the pot barasha. And then let me just go ahead and uh, get a, a little bit of a, a a look at this. I mean, look at those together. These are sapphires as well. So is this one. So remember how great those would look together. I actually kind of like that as a pinky ring. But here is your purple, pinks, and pot barasha. The sapphire total weight here is going to be 455. So that's a lot of sapphire weight. And see how it's almost like this pot barasha in the pendant has a little more orange to it than the ring does. But yeah, with the pinks and purples around it, it blends so nicely with the stone in the ring. So just a thought there. But this is going to be the 455. Diamond weight is 30 points. We'll take it to the neckline after I give you a measurement. And get ready because this is just remarkably affordable for what this is. And especially considering it's 18 karat gold. And there you can see it's about an inch and I would say 5 eighths or so. Top to bottom. Bale at the top. This is not a pin. It's just a pendant. So I know sometimes we've been seeing of late pin pendant combinations. And oh my goodness. Well, if that is not... Should we should we let the designer of the jacket know that this is the piece <laughs> that goes perfectly with it? My goodness, look at that. The colors, the shape, the design. Oh my goodness. Well, we better let uh, Diane von Furstenberg know. Um, anyway, the piece is going to be a lot better. Are we ready? 
It's not even $3,999. Take a look up close again. I just think this is for the pinky purple pod lovers out there. Oh, get ready. And there's fuchsia pinks. There's different tones of purple. I love the classic purples. And then there's those really rich pinky purples as well. I'm gonna come in a little closer so you can see those stones and diamonds throughout the four. And there's a little movement, by the way. So that's not, your eyes do not deceive you. There's a little hinge between the main floral at the top where the bale is and the base. So when I hold it like this, you can kind of see there's a little movement, just kind of a nice little articulation detail done on purpose. You see they hinged it in the back there, see that? So all those little details mean designer, mean $39.99 is not enough. Well, I'm going lower. So we're gonna take it to, you know what, less than $19.99, that's what we did on the ring. And let me know, Jason, when you know who got that pot parash, I'd love to say thank you to them. Oh, hi, Ed and Chan. Oh, Ed and Chan, thank you so much. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. It's not even $1,500. I told you it was a deal. I told you it was a deal. It's not even 15, it's not 14.99. Let's make it easy, $1,399. For all those different colors of sapphire and fancy cuts, Marquees at the top, pear shapes at the base, and $13.99 to get diamonds as well. All those different pave rows leading in and to the very top and bottom. That is such a stunning piece, $13.99. All right, and then we've got Brazilian Paraibas in a pretty similar design. If you like this piece, you might also like the Pad Parasha, or the um, Paraibas, rather, that we have. And then we also have a really special, we have another gold quartz, it's a bigger one. And then the beautiful Congolese Blue Greens, they're here. And and we have two incredible ones for you, but as we are about 20 minutes away from the top of the hour, I'm gonna flash something that's coming up because you need to know that this is what I'm talking about when I've mentioned the tanzanite that is on the way and it's the one and only tonight. That's it. <laughs> Look at that round. If you haven't fallen madly in love with rounds yet, you will tonight. That is why the rounds were the very first to go. That's why they are the most in demand. And this is the one that really defies the odds, still giving you the glitter factor of a round, but still showing reds. And that one's important. So that's the piece that I've been telling you about is when we thought the 10 carat was the last, we'll get to it when we get to it. But there's a story behind why this is here tonight and why it's so important. And it's a four carat size. It's actually a 427, but again, that's the range everybody seems to want more than anything else is that four to five carat level of blue wing block D. So we have very few left. Got it, that's why I had to let you know. It's happening today. We're getting that one up here for you shortly. It's gonna be coming up probably right about the bottom of next hour, not even another hour to go, but we've got a lot to show you in between now and then as well. So take a look at this one again. Just wanted to give you a little preview so you know how important it is to stay with us to see what that's all about, because that one's gonna fly, you know that. And that's a 427 and it's got a carat 20 in diamonds as well. Don't forget our diamond slice earrings. They are still here, I believe. And then we've got the big, big, big fire opal. So we're opening that up. I don't think our requester's taken it, so it's available to anybody who'd like it. Turquoise earrings, still popular. They're still going out. And then we have to show you this. There is a brand new, oh my goodness, Rubalite Diamond Designer. Okay, everything about this is just reading as money, and it's not going to be that much. So that's coming up in a little bit. Let's go to the hand here because it's yet another pendant, and that's the back. And then here is the front. Get ready. Oh, the incredible detail. Almost like an angel wing design, but a cascade or a waterfall of bigger diamonds right between this border of gold and then that trillion rupalite. Oh, one, one, two, three, five, two, two. So I wanted to get you a sense of the size first. And then keep in mind, this is coming on an 18 karat gold diamond cut bead chain that has, look at the sparkle. I don't even have to move it. And you see that it looks like diamonds. Forget diamonds by the yard. It looks like entirely diamonds through the necklace and it's adjustable. So it's gonna be 18 inches maximum. And then this little bead right there, it's not that little, but that little end cap and that little charm, that slides to make it as short as you would like it to be. So the pendant is one thing that's gonna come off the chain as well. So this is your new chain that you wear with everything in your white metal pendant collection, but there's your length of it. It's gonna be an inch and a half top to bottom. And then we got to show it on. The Rubalite is a 219. 
the diamond weight is 50 points. I am going to get you up close. I like to get your perspective on the size first because I think that's what either is going to say, okay, it's a deal breaker or I got to have it because you know, you need to know how it's going to wear and how it's going to look on the neckline before you can proceed because no matter what the value is, all our values are stupendous, right? It's just a matter of, you know, we never want you to buy something you're not going to enjoy wearing. So this is the look at it from a distance. Now we're going to show it to you up close. And I'm not sure, honestly, if it's going to sit properly, giving all these details it has, but I'm going to give it a little bit of help because it's going to need it. And then we're going to show it up right here because you got to see, maybe we do it in sections here. So you can see first the incredible quality of this Trillion Rubellite. And if you are a Trillion lover, look no further. That is just bright, clean, and glowing, 219. Then let me go ahead and position this a little differently so you can really see the details of the waterfall, the cascade of diamonds that lead down. And then, of course, this is why they did the bead cut chain, because that follows along with the design you have on the outer sides there. As that length carries on down, and then, yes, you've got this incredible satin finishing as well, but you see what it's going to look like from a distance there, and then you get that cascade of diamonds. Now, we'll go back up from a distance, because I want you to just see, that's 50 points in diamonds, so all bigger stones there, all pronged set, but they look like they're floating, and you see the depth here? I really want to show this to you, because this is that concave design that you're getting, so that it looks like those diamonds are set really within the design, and so they're set at a little bit of a concave level. Here's what it looks like from a distance again, and it's gonna be, you know what, let's blow it out. It's a huge value, it's a great looking rubellite. It's no longer gonna be $49.99. Told you there's a lot of designer pendants here tonight. We're gonna make this a lot easier right now. First caller, $19.99 if you'd like to have it, but there's only one and it is going to go very quickly. So remember that. And we wanna show you these really versatile huggy hoops that we've had before a few times, but when we make something again and again and again, it tells you a lot about how classic and popular they are. So we're going to give you another chance at those, which is your probably last look before Mother's Day, to get some really versatile huggy hoops. And then we've got also mandarin that's new, yellow diamond that's new. The list goes on and on. We'd love your requests as well. And then there's a blowout on a round pot of Yiba that we've got to get to as well. But that's the one to get if you're a Rubellite fan. And from 5000 to under $2,000 makes it quite the value. So we're going to take a little pendant break. Let me tell you about what's coming up because we want to give these hoops a last call. It's a last chance moment. What can I say? 1110390. That item number goes back uh, to a point before I was here. So, been here about eight years. It's a long time ago. We've actually taken the price they used to be when they were made. Back when they were created, we're talking about nearly, what, eight and a half years ago? One of the first items we ever created it happens to be more popular and more in demand of a look today than it was then. And yet you're talking about a classic, but what's really classic in hoops right now is smaller hoops, smaller stackable hoops, hoops that you can wear many of at one time if you have the ability, or a hoop that really is that closer to the ear look. We're not seeing a lot of the, you know, the massive hoops are always in, we know that. But when we're talking about stackables, second piercings, third, fourth, what do you see now more than a stud? It's a hoop of this size typically. And yet the problem with a true huggy that's a quarter inch or smaller is that they don't work for everybody, right? Everybody's got a different shape lobe. Everybody's got a different placement of their piercing. And not necessarily does a quarter inch, which is really teeny tiny, work for everybody. So this is what we adapted. We really, again, the idea is to look like a heart shape from the side, but it really gives you that huggy look that closest to the ear, closest to the piercing wraparound design that really is everywhere now, but it still gives you the ability to, if you've struggled with the smaller hoops before and they just don't give you enough room, this is the style, this is the answer. It's a little bit of a point on the sides and that's what makes this so versatile. So from the front, it's going to look like that true super ultra in fashion right now. Everybody's got to have them huggy, but from the side, it gives you a little point. So that point gives you the extra room that makes this huggy look that appears like a quarter incher, but it makes it look more like, again, a smaller, closer to the ear style, but it gives you room and they're reversible. So you can wear them with the diamonds up front or the solid gold up front. And that's up to you. The other thing I love about this hoop, and I've got both pairs in white and yellow to show you, it's um, 390, 27 points in diamonds. And let me remind you that this is why, this is a straight post, by the way, which as somebody who wears Huggies every day of my life, they all, the tinier they get, they always have the curved post. 
which can be very difficult to work into piercings, especially the higher they go on your ear. So this, I like to point out, is a straight across post. So this means it hinges at the base. You can barely even see that hinge. And it just opens up and clicks closed. So it's so easy, so secure. What it's also gonna give you is great comfort so that you can wear them just hour after hour, day after day. This is the white gold. You are getting pave in the front, which is always a classic. And then feel free, truly you can reverse them around. Wear them the other way, put them on the other, basically kind of the wrong way. Put them in through the back of the piercing and have your solid gold. So it really is a two in one. And that just gives you even more versatility that we love. But 27 points in diamonds. If you don't have these yet, and I know a lot of you do. So forgive me if you already have them. We'll move them in a little bit closer. But remember, you also have rose gold. They're just not here in the studio. But this is where you can get your choice of really wearable size. Wait till you see them on. They're amazing, but you got to get in because here's the greatest part about this. The versatility is there. The classic nature is there. The fact you're going to wear them and live in them, that's all there. We know that. The choice of gold color is great. The real extra bonus is this is the better price than they've ever been. Even when they debuted so many years ago, they are a different price now and a better one. <laughs> different prices we're used to in the jewelry world at large. Everything is up, 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 up in price. This is where you're getting a price that went backwards from where it was over eight years ago. So you're getting a tremendous value. So again, if you're shopping Mother's Day gifting, this is the way to get them. Take a look at them. We've got the yellow and the white here. This is the yellow. I'm gonna move that a little bit closer here. That's very popular. You'd think with white diamonds, that a lot of people are gonna go with the white gold. But the truth is, I think because of the reversibility, so many people love to see the gold presence of the yellow gold when you reverse them. So that's why yellow gold is very popular, but it's definitely a style where if you have one and love them, you wanna get all the gold colors that you wear, but it's not, you know what, you're being a little pain, so I'll just try you on. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and do what we do here, give you the greatest price. They were $9.99 to start. We're gonna make it a lot better. And um, remember this, I know you're seeing because we're giving you an overhead look, you're seeing a little bit of that point at the base. When they're on, you do not see that. You're going to see in just a moment here that it looks like it's a round hoop earring. That's a, it looks like you're completely classic set the way we always see hoop set. Look at that. It just looks like your classic round hoop earring. And instead it's got that little point. So that's what makes it so really easy to wear. And again, you see that it's really showing up with those diamonds. We can reverse them around. If you want to stack them up the ear, you can. They work great for that as well, because that's the size we tend to see is that half inch. We tend to see that very popular now in a second or third or fourth piercing. And they're not even $499. So half off where they started oh so long ago. And now they're actually going to be even less money than that. Take a look at your wheel close up. So I've got the white gold on there and then we'll show you all to switch them out. I'll show you a yellow gold as well. But again, straight post, click enclosure, easy to put on, no mere needed, great for every age, all of those things. And yet it's not even going to be $499 for the pair. A Mother's Day gifting opportunity, definitely. A wonderful April celebration because it's diamonds some of our best and don't let that carrot weight fool you. These are BS diamonds still. It doesn't matter if we do pave or smaller or larger. It's BS if you're shopping here. So you're getting the utmost in quality, which means we're delivering in the sparkle. You're getting white, bright, round brilliance here. Take a look at the yellow gold, just how you can see from a distance away. If you're curious, that's the yellow gold really doesn't change the look all that much unless of course you're reversing it or seeing it from the profile, but they're not even 450 a pair. And this is the time to get them if you want them for Mother's Day gift giving, which is coming up in May. And um, we're only about a month away. So give us, you know, again, some great moments here to get you some big values. But you see how beautiful there's piercing coverage as well. Because no, that, that, that was not why I missed Monday. It wasn't to get my ear piercing fixed. <laughs> I wish it was something vain and cosmetic like that. That'd be nice. But it's not even 450. It's just amazing. That's why I love those. If you have a piercing you don't love because it's seen better days, that camouflages it. You don't see it because the post is set lower than the diamonds are. So the diamonds cover that. It's not even 450. We're going to make them $449 a pair. And that's while they last. And all you have to do is choose. Do you want the white, the yellow, the rose, or do you want to get one of each? Because my goodness, that's a classic. Let's go back to the wheel and take another look at them. That's going to be it. It's our final call at 449. I know that price has got to go up. Listen, it could, if it just goes up to the eight year ago price tag, well, that would be, I think, something we could all understand. And if you understood that, you know, TV on had to bring the price up to what it was eight years ago, I think you'd get that, right? You'd say, okay, that's, that's no problem. I understand that. 
The fact is it's got to go up to today's pricing, which is going to make a big shift from 449 to that 999. And so that's more than double. Don't pay it if you don't have to. So we've got 449 great value. Just want to bring those out since your last chance before mom's day. And then we're going to get to this very large opal. Well, isn't this just the coolest ring ever? Designer style coming up in a large, almost six carat opal. That's on the way. If you need any hoop earrings, get them now. You will live in them, that's for sure. And then don't forget about a rubellite necklace, still here if you'd like it. And then we've got a tanzanite necklace and we do have a very special, wait till you see this, Congolese tourmaline coming up. Very, very nice. 1123805 coming up next. It is such a clean stone. Let's take a look at this one. This is the, um, you know what? I can't. I just can't get behind this right now. I got to reset that. We got to reset it. It's still a little off. Let me show you the Brazilian Paraibas. Now, some of the smaller Paraibas we've had of late have not been verified as Brazilian. And if they're not, we don't talk about Brazilian. They probably are based on all the visual IDs. We've had a lot of smaller stones that look Brazilian, probably are, but unless we know for certain, we don't call it Brazilian Paraíba. Why is that a big deal? Why does the origin and the country of origin matter? This is the original find from 1989, and this is Brazilian Paraíba, and you see them. The two incredible bright stones you see there in the rounds. It's gonna be one, one, two, three, seven, five, zero. Welcome into Wednesday. We've got about two hours left. This is going to fly and I'm holding it by the bail. So yes, this is gonna be, oh wait, or am I? <laughs> if you're thinking, no, my florals need to be upright. Take a look at this. You can do that too. This is how it looks that way. You can wear it either way, yes. Uh, Lynette, um, Hi Lynette, thank you so much. Was she shopping the hoops? Yes. Love it. Thanks, Lynette. So good to hear from you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being with us tonight. And here we are with one, one, two, three, seven, five, zero. Six points, so two three pointers each. And you've got the Brazilian Paraibas as the bud of the floral. Then you've got this intertwined ribbon of diamonds over this 18 karat gold. 40 points is your diamond weight. You can wear it either way. Take a look at it this way. You have bales on either side. I can't decide which way I like it better. I don't know. I remember this is taking back to like high school days when you wanted to like, do you remember this? Did anyone else do this? Where you would go to the dance and you'd get that corsage from your first prom and you'd want to preserve the memory and usually it was the corsage, right? So you'd let it, you'd usually hang it up like that. So it just, it dried out and then you could keep it, right? That's what, I don't know, that's what makes me think of when I see them down, uh, down like that. But that's a really cool detail where it didn't need to be that way, but that versatility just makes it even more worthwhile. So I'm gonna show it lengthwise. The um, length of it is going to be, let's just make sure you get familiar with the size here before we show it on the neckline. It's gonna be an inch and a half exactly, top to bottom. Then I'm gonna flip it around to show it the other way when it goes on the neckline here for you, just so you can see. And there's actually, there are two bales so you can see here, I'm just actually holding it by the taller flower there. So you can actually kind of set it evenly if you'd like, or more at an angle, depending on if you use both bales or just one or the other. So you can kind of change the angle of the way you set it up right. But that is a pretty piece. And can we just note, this is what Brazilian Paraibas do. Do you see how they're glowing from afar? This is a darker area over here and look at how those stones are glowing. So let's go back up close, give you a great look at it here. And yet yeah, it's not gonna be why is this not $38.99? That's a great value. We're going to blow it out right now. Only just have this one piece, obviously. Goes without saying, I know it's been a pendant intense night so far. Don't worry, we've got lots of rings coming. But these are where our designer one-of-a-kinds are. How about the shared prong design of each and every diamond that is giving that double row over the double stem there? And it's not even going to be $38 or $24.99. I like, but I don't love it. We're going to make sure it's a lot more affordable than that. We've got about two minutes left till our top of the hour and something big coming up for the top of the hour. But this is not even going to be $2,000 or $19.99 or $1,500. Anything in Brazilian Paraibas is usually triple that price. We are giving you an opportunity because it's the original. It's the OG, it's the original find. It's the most rare Paraiba in the world and it's all rare. But we're making this one under 15 or 14.99. Let's blow it out. We're gonna make it $1,399. First caller, 13.99. That's it. 
1399 one caller and then we got to move because our top of the hour will be here and we are so excited about a nice top of the hour special. I do have one Padaiba ring, not Brazilian, but it's a Padaiba ring and a round that's really, really lovely. We'll see that. We've got a Tanzanite necklace. The Congolese stones are here, whatever you need, but that is a wild one there. And then let's show this opal before we get to our top of the hour because I got to keep moving. Too many one of a kinds today to wait around for each and every. Okay, stop what you're doing. Now I said there was a peridot. <laughs> this is not it. Have you ever, okay guys, we gotta, we gotta get into it now. We gotta, we gotta just like wake everybody up. This is opal. I have you ever, I've been doing this for 22 years. I don't, I've never seen an opal look like this. Never, never seen. I've sold a million dollar opal before. It was many years ago, loose. It was a loose stone in a box, million bucks. Million dollar opal. It didn't look this good. This is the brightest stone I have ever witnessed. And it's almost six carats. And it's Lightning Ridge, Australia, the mine that's almost done and depleted. And it is in a decadent designer mounting. It would be foolish to not put this in something important as far as the gold presence, the diamonds. I mean, really, have you ever seen an opal look like this? Ever. There's a blue ba background and a backdrop and then all of these bright, amazing greens that this could light your way in a dark room. I mean, it really is that electric neon material. Let's take a look at it. And then we're going to show you. I got to zoom back a little bit just to get the whole thing in the picture. And then can you imagine this is going to get more fun when it moves? It just gets to sway back and forth at the moment. One, one, two, three, six, five, five is a stunner of an opal. Let's just watch what happens when it gets to move a little bit more. It does it 100% changes color from blue to green back to blue to green back to blue it's not a color changing gem that is not the phenomena that opals give us it sure looks like one though i'm gonna need one collector on the phone lines here if you want a chance because i just don't think i looked at i, I glanced down at this bag and got to be honest i was not expecting to see anything in four digits I was fully expecting to see t five digits on the price tag here. And the fact that it's a five carat 97 in platinum and 18 karat gold. So everything that you see in the white metal, platinum. Everything you see in the yellow, that's the setting. That's you're going to see those big diamonds that are bezel set. That's all 18 karat solid yellow gold. Now you are getting, it's a 597 opal. It's 67 points in diamonds. It's big individual diamonds, a couple of those that you're gonna see princess cuts on the sides. This is a totally unique opportunity. And one more thing before we look at it, before I wanna just borrow it because I wanna show you something. That, look at that, that is amazing. Do you see that? If we had suddenly a power outage in this studio, that stone and the whole set went dark, you would still see that stone. I'm sure of it. Look at the neons that are coming through on that green. And there's still that ability where it's like it's changing without changing your light source. Welcome to the show. Top of the hour. If you just tune in, welcome. Glad you're here on this Wednesday night. We are live. I'm Lauren Blair. This is TV on. We have two hours and I'm going to get into it. We got a big tonight that I have a feeling everybody watching across the nation is waiting on this round tonight, and it's coming in about 28 minutes. But before we do that, we have got to offer this. I mean, when have you ever, you see me trying rings all the time. When does one light up from that distance away? It is unheard of. It is unseen. This is the one to own and the size of it. Yeah, it looks like a 12 or 13 or 14 carat because that's what opals do. But you're getting 67 points. It's about the size of the diamonds. There's a good size individually. If you're setting a stone this size, it's got to have a lot of metal and it does. The two premium metals that we can make jewelry out of are here together represented in this ring. I mean, this is just a masterpiece and I was expecting it to be 19,999. Usually I look at a piece and guess the price and I'm usually within a couple of dollars. I was not expecting to see in that four digit range, which means under $10,000. So if you think there's no way I'm going to afford a, a lightning ridge stone that's six carat that looks like that, you can and you will. And this is where if I had my way, if mother nature and I had this agreement where I could get whatever I wanted, I would have a hundred of these and I would get to sell a hundred tonight because we would have a hundred shoppers wanting to take advantage of this value. There's one, look at that stone. 
What, what, what kind of stone does that from a distance away? No emerald does. No tourmaline does. Nothing is going to give you that glow, that electric color, that fire, that glow, that everything. This is like a neon opal is what this is. And here's what it looks like again. Now let's take a good look at the sides because I love this detail. It's very designer. The huge, uh, not princess cuts, but Asher cut diamonds are really the focal point of the sides. And that's going to be the bezel setting in the 18K. And nobody's on the phone lines yet. Do not be intimidated by the 99.99 because remember, I think I could sell 100 of them if I had my way. We have one piece just to obviously clarify. We have one piece and one piece only. Look at that. So the pave is the rest of the way in platinum around and surrounding that bezel set Asher cut. And there's your two-tone setting where you've got the yellow gold setting the actual opal. Uh, this is going to be a sad situation where we're going to have a lot of people missing out and only one collector getting it and the ratio is going to be just off. So if you want to call now, please do, because this is not going to be 9,000, 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, or 4,000. There you have it. It's not going to be $39.99. That is a nearly six carat. It is fantastic. The, the complaint with opals, and I've been around the jewelry world a long time to hear the same complaint with opals. It's always been the same. Opals don't give enough color. And you're right, most of them don't. Most of them don't give any visual color. They look white, they look colorless, they look milky, they look hazy, they look faded, they look, mm. they're not all that wow. This is the wow. If you've never had an opal, you don't need to look any further than this one right here because this is the collectible to get and it's not even $39.99. Glad it's here for our second hour to kick it all off when it's gonna be so darn affordable. This is not $39.99 or $3,500 platinum in 18K. And with all those bigger diamonds you have as well, and it's not even 35 or 34 or 33. Okay. I'm keeping that. I don't have an opal. I'm, I'm really, it's not my favorite stone typically because I like color. Well, welcome to your new favorite opal. It might be your only favorite opal and that means that's the one to own. That's the one to get. Watch what it's doing. And if that doesn't just light up your living room, I don't know what's going to. That is it. And it's not 33, 32, 31. Let's give it away. It's not 3,099. I'm gonna make it 29.99 first caller. And to get 18 karat and platinum together, that's unheard of. So we're going to give it 30 seconds and then that will be gone. Welcome into Wednesday. Are you ready? Should we do, should maybe just put something up on the auction block? What do you want to do? That's what we can do. We can do that if you'd like. We can put something on the auction block. Um, I don't think it's going to be that Tanzanite. That's going to be, yeah, that's the one everyone's going to be fighting over. I think we got people fighting over it already, to tell you the truth. So we have that one. Hey, Susan, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Susan. Glad to be here with you and glad you're here. All right, so here we go. Coming up. Well, you guys surprise me sometimes, and that one is still here. Okay, well, that's, that's the Opal to own. It doesn't get any better. $29.99. Welcome to the show again. If you just tuned in, glad you're with us tonight. We have a very, very special Morganite we're going to show you. And it's not just any Morganite. It's our pink Morganite. And we've decided to upgrade it. It's the really, really special rare Morganite that is that pink color, not peach. I know peach is the color of the year. So Morganite's definitely on trend with what's happening in 2024, but we like to bring you quality first. So even though the typical Morganite would be very on point with what we see right now as a trend in fashion worldwide, but this is where we go more elite with the quality and we're going to a true pink like a diamond. This is like a diamond pink and that's where I think it really is great for so many people because most of us can't get a big pink diamond. I mean, we don't even have a stone bigger than a Kirito 9 and our Kirito 9 is in the tens of thousands. So we kind of, that ship has sailed and a lot of people just give up on the prospect of owning anything like a pink diamond, but this is really a good alternative. But when you get a true pink color in Morganite, it makes it more rare. So I do want to make sure that you understand that most Morganites, a little bit more pale in their color, really light peach. That's not the case here. Wait till you see this. It's a carat 80 as well. So this is not a small stone. And do we need to see that open one more time? Because I'm a little surprised that's still here. But either way, here we go. This is, and let me reverse it, because I just feel like maybe we should put the pink diamonds up top. Let them be the crowning glory moment for this stone. And it's item number. Let's come on in, because we had that big opal, which is still here. And okay, I just looked down at that opal, because it's still sitting on the wheel off to the side. And I look down. And it's completely like turquoise, like a Sleeping Beauty stone. <laughs> it's fascinating what that stone is doing. You can never truly appreciate an opal till you see it in person because believe it or not, TV does not do them justice. So now we're talking about 112. 
3304. Really glad we have a true pink carrot 80 morganite collection grade. You're not going to find it anywhere else but here. And it's got one row of pink diamonds. We could have just left it with all white diamonds framing it and that would have been lovely. Instead, we truly upgraded it because I, I got to say, I think that that's really the inspiration here is that, like I just said, a lot of people want to get a pink diamond. And yet Mother Nature said, mm -mm, not everyone's going to get one. This is where you can get the look of, and that's why we wanted to prove that to you. It's one thing for me to say, hey, it looks like a pink diamond. It's another thing to see it framed with pink diamonds and then realize that the two are a match and they look great together. So you see the resemblance there and you see that that pink stone, which Morganite rarely has any color at all. I mean, rarely does it have any visual um, spectacular color. This one does. This one's amazing. It's a carat 80. It's a good size. It's a cushion cut. That's a traditional cushion cut. 29 points in pink, 26 points in white. So do you see how you're still getting a little level up with the pink diamond weight being even more so than the white diamonds? And that's going to be the frame that still gives it that unique factor, makes it a little different, makes it a little specialty, and we're going to blow it out. Actually, you know what? Let's skip the whole $29.99 price tag that we have as our blowout. Let's give you a better opportunity right now. We're just going to go ahead and let you auction it, meaning you get to, put, you get to choose your own price. You get to pick what price you want to pay. And I'm not going to start at 25 or 2000. I want to welcome you in. We got a lot of brand new. Yes, the Tanzanite's coming. It's 20 minutes away, so we'll get there. And I know we're all anxious for that last round because I know it's been, we'll get to why it's here when it wasn't two weeks ago. So we'll talk about that. Um, but this is actually going to be 2000 no, 1500 no, $1,000, no. We're going to start at nothing. I'm curious, how much is the ring worth to you? And if you want to power bid it to $2,800, it would be logical to do so. You'd still be getting a deal. But when we start at zero, this is a no reserve auction. It's not one of those where I bid $100 and, oh, I was the only one out there on that given moment, so I didn't get it after all because they can't lose money. We will lose money gladly if that's what you want to pay. And if that's all that we get, so be it. The more important thing is here is that we move the ring. The ring's got to go. So we are at nothing. There's no reserve. It's $100 increments just so we can, you know, get this wrapped up before 10 o'clock tonight. And um, we'll take a look at it. That's it. So we're just going to find out if we got anybody with us tonight. And the opal's still here. <laughs> you want that opal. We have no open. Let's try it on. Make sure you see if it's worth $100 to you, which it's definitely worth $100. Um, let's see, what would be $100? Not the labor, <laughs> not the pink diamonds, not the white diamonds. We have how much? $500. Thank you so much. That's with the pink diamonds on the underside there. Obviously, you get to play with it and choose how you like it. You're still going to get that carry through. That double row, that outer edge is still going to give the negative space, but come down and still be that double row down the sides. How much? $600, two bidders only. Thank you so much for being a part of this show and being with us because we only have two bidders so far, and that's a light day of bidding. So you don't have a lot of competition tonight. I can tell you that because, you know, I know how this works. So we have $700, not my first rodeo. So 700, still only two people have called in to bid. $700 we have. If you're waiting for it to get up to 25 or $2,000, we may not make it that far. So this is a good time. Okay. One bidder left. Oh no, you guys are killing me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it a last call. We got to do it. What can I do? Nothing, <laughs> nothing I can do. I said no reserve, so I can't back out now. There's nothing I can do to prevent this from going under cost like it is about to do. And you know, it's, it's that night. So carried 80 stone, private collection stone. This is only here with us. If you do shop Morgan, I know it's not easy to find, but I can give you a, a list a mile long of boutiques and stores and designers that do carry Morganite. But it doesn't look anything like this. And I keep saying I'm going to have to buy one and bring one in to show you because we really only specialize in the more important Morganites, the more unique, the more rare. This is definitely one of them and that it's not a light, light, barely there. 
uh, nude color or blush color or sometimes it's that peachy color. We're going to just, um, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. So we have one bidder left. We only had two bidders, by the way, the entirety of this auction. That is fairly unusual. I mean, that's unusual when I start an auction at $10,000, let alone zero. Started with a big goose egg and now have only had two bidders this entire time. So that's very unusual and um, just kind of goes to show you we don't have a ton of audience tonight yet so again that'll that'll change as the night goes on I pray and hope but um, for now you're getting the uh, deal of the lifetime basically on a pink morganite that's a three thousand dollar TV on ring and now it's at seven hundred dollars courtesy of lack of bids we have one bidder left so we're gonna give it two minutes and that of course means it's not too late two minutes to go to make the phone call right there. Even if you've never shopped here before, never bid on an auction, there's no hoops to jump through. It's not complicated. There's no buyer's premium. There's no final sale associated with it when there really should be considering this is going so low, but we're going to see who would like it. And this is a major value. And let's not skip over the fact that not only is it about that private collection, pure pink Morganite, but it's the fact that you have pink diamonds and white diamonds together you're getting this beautiful classic setting with that little extra twist and that it's pink and white diamonds, $700. Okay, we're gonna give it a last call, it's two minutes. Last chance, last call, this is it. I'm giving away a piece of jewelry and I, I really, again, every bit of my journalistic fiber and being does not allow me to tell you things that are inaccurate or silly or just like hyperbole. Um, when I say we're under cost, we're under cost. And I don't expect that to be surprising to anybody. I don't think anybody who knows fine jewelry would, would, would doubt me on that. We are the factory, we create these pieces. When we look at a piece like that, and you've got almost a third of a carat in pink diamonds that are natural, and almost a third of a carat of white diamonds that are VS, I mean, that alone necessitates over $700. The labor necessitates over $700. These are human hands that put these pieces together with love and time and care and patience and all those things that I believe give are what give jewelry a soul. And then in the middle, we've got the big Morganite, which is almost two carats. We've had 60 point Morganites go for much more than this. So it's last call and it's not too late because two minutes is plenty of time to make the phone call. We just hope you do it on that, you know, sooner rather than later side of the clock because it does go quickly and there's a little delay, which is why we give you two minutes. So final calls now, take a look at it and then we're going to see this out the door. Questions? On the stone shore, here's the stone millimeter size because I don't think we've got it listed. So let me just give you a look on the hand again while we're at it anyways. And that'll give me a chance to show it to you here. And then forgive me, but I'm just going to get a quick millimeter size measurement. The outside width is going to be, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's seven, a little over seven, about seven and a half. And then the length of the stone, forgive me if I'm taking it out of your view, but it's nine and a half. So it's a double calibrated seven and a half by nine and a half millimeter stone. It's a cushion cut. It's the traditional cushion. Sometimes we see square cushions. This is the rectangular cushion. And it's at $700 with a minute 20. You got 80 seconds. <laughs> oh no, 80 seconds to dial in and counting down. Make sure you're on the phone lines, pink and white diamonds. My goodness, what I miss. I know it, I, when I miss a day, it feels like a year. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I know it does, trust me when I tell you, it really does. Um, can barely find my way here today. Hmm. <laughs> oh, trust me, I wish I was with you shopping on Monday night than where I was. But anyway, um, 45 seconds remaining, last call. And uh, anybody else? Jason, are you verifying on this one? Anybody wanna go 800 or more? Or I'd take nine, I'd take a thousand dollars. It's not, uh, <laughs> that should not be far fetched to get a little extra. We did start with a power bid. Maybe that's what kind of threw off the, the vibe. Started with that $500 power bid. That could have been it because we only had two bidders up to this point. So I'm looking for a third bidder or maybe a little ongoing back and forth here with our original two. I don't know if our original, are you still in? So here we go, last chance, last call. Oh, okay, no problem, Pam, no problem. Thanks for letting me know, Pam, I appreciate that. Okay, and Anita, I'm working on your request. So Anita, if you're watching, if you can give me a call, or not a call, if you can just email me, um, I've already got our design team working on it. So you just need to let me know what ring size, because when we custom make it, we just make it in your ring size. So Anita M, if you're, um, 
If you know what ring size you need, just let me know. And then we'll make it in your size so then we don't need to size it again after the fact. Okay, so we're working on a custom design and let's see if we have $800 or more. Last chance, last call, okay. Anybody else? Alyssa, Andy, anybody else? Any of my A's or J's? J's or A's? <laughs> That's all I got. J's and A's. Oh, well, when Tim comes, don't tell Tim when he comes back from break. He'll be the, he'll be the T. <laughs> okay. 800, yes, no, got it. We, I think we have somebody, forgive me if you're trying to get through. I don't like to end auctions when we can't get you in, but 800, yes, no, got it, sold. Congratulations, let's move on. We only have now 10 minutes. Um, would you guys be terribly, terribly upset if I delayed the Tanzanite till, till, till June? <laughs> what, Tony? Like a promo, right? Like a tease. You guys love when I do that, right? Say, hey, this is coming up next week. Well, we might have to just tease that Tanzanite till June 2028. I don't know. I mean, like that could be the one, like the last round, right? The last round that everybody's waiting. And by then we've got everybody ready, sure not to miss it, right? We could do that. That'd be kind of fun. Okay. We, we'll do it tonight. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It's all the teas you get. 10 minutes till the Tanzanite round comes out to play. Because at this point, I think everyone's just waiting on that. Um, anything you'd like to see up until then? I got an idea. We haven't done a wheel in a while. I compiled. They said, listen, poor girl, you're recovering. Can we, can we get you a little... Like, a little help here. Why don't you pick out some designer pieces you want to discount? I said, gladly. So I chose four of these really premium, big time, ultimate designer pieces. And then they said, do whatever you want with the price tag. So I'm going to do whatever I want with the price tag. And here's the selection. One more black opal, which keep in mind my six carat is still here. My, my stone, my 223 Imperial Topaz is here. My cat's eye rubellite is here. Cat's eye rubellite. Cat's eye rubellite. No, that's not the med speaking. It's cat's eye rubellite. We have a cat's eye rubellite. If you haven't seen one, check it out. And we have a huge rose and barn. Those four pieces I have elected to put on my museum wheel. My museum mega markdowns, because I missed mega markdowns on Monday. And trust me, I missed it, okay? So I want to do a little mega markdowns and must see mega monday markdowns on wednesday that's what i'm going to do right now and this is up to me to take the pricing down so i'm going to make sure they all go so we're going to do this until we get to that tanzanite and then by the time this wraps up and we get these four out the door it should be uh tansy time which is my favorite time that's what i should do is design a watch that just says tansy time right and it only reads with a tanzanite in the in the dial and that'd be that'd be it right that's what we should do I'm gonna show you the most spectacular collection, keeping in mind where they're either 18 karat gold or platinum. So it's the highest end, yeah, thank you, Tony. I love that. It's just, it's, it's the highest end metals, which, how do we like this? Maybe the other way? Let's take a look at it this way. Here's the, uh, oh, wait, no, it doesn't like to sit that way either. Okay, so for just the sake of not complicating our wheel, I'm gonna lay that there for the moment, but I'm gonna to have to move that around a bit so you see the true, look of the trillion then we have <laughs> look at this opal another opal oh blues and greens again but with a bit of a floral flare to the side diamonds then i feel like this is the drum roll moment we have the ladies and gentlemen cat's eye rubellite i've had two ever and we've got one on a designer museum wheel blowout wheel get ready and then i'm going to show you Actually, I may move this opal to the rear because we are going to bring out another red, pink, purple, blue combination. This is called Royal Zambar and Garnet. And it's a big one. And it's a trillion. And take a look at, wow, what's with it. <laughs> and you know, it might just be like the Imperial where for the moment, we're going to have to set it up this way just so it sits nice and even. Well, that looks nice too. So we either have combinations of 18 karat and platinum or all 18 karat or all platinum. So my question is, which is your favorite or better yet, you may wanna get all four. And you could easily. And here's the other hint I'll give you. This is one of my world famous blowout wheels where all four you could purchase for less than the price of one that normally was, well, 
This is really crazy. They were $99.99 and up. And so that probably gives all my mathematicians out there a really good idea of how low these are going to start in that you could get all of them for less than, and I, I don't mean to give this away, but this is, well, I don't want to give it away, but I do want to give them away. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give the rings away. So all you need to do is let me know which one is your favorite, and no, you don't have to be greedy and take all four, but if you want to, go ahead, because they're all collector's pieces, no doubt about it. So all we need to know is which one is your favorite. The Imperial Topaz is in the middle center. That is a rare one source, unheated, untreated, precious Topaz. That's the 223. It's got a few diamond accents. That's 18 karat gold. They all stay as is, by the way. I can't change them because they're all designer museum. Then we have the platinum piece with the black opal. The black opal is stunning. It's got the same blue greens, just um, a little more distinctive pattern or colorway. The opal is a 347 black opal. Then we've got the trillion. That's a 660 Zambarin. That's our largest Zambarin here because the 14 karat sold the other day. That Zambarin has white diamonds and pink sapphires. The pink sapphires were never included in the cost, which was 99. Actually, this one was um, actually 11,999. And then we have the cat's eye rubellite set in solid platinum. And that has the baguettes on the sides. Which one is your favorite or take two? Honestly, that sounds absurd, doesn't it? What am I talking about? Who talks like that? Why would you take two? Why would you take three? How many museum pieces can one person handle? That's how affordable they're going. So they're all one of a kinds. They all stay as is. We're going to size each one of them, but you just need to let me know which one's your favorite. And we're going to go ahead and send them out. Which one do you love? That is the question. <gasps> Pam, I just, I saw that you got your 22 karat star ruby. Yay. Did you name him yet? <laughs> she said, he's amazing. And um, remember she got the owl with the 22 carats. So yeah, did you, I need to know, Pam, did you name your piece? Because he was too cute. He needs a name. Okay. Here's what we have. A better than, here's the obvious. They're better than $2,500. Because that already kind of gave away. They're better than $25. they are better than $24.99. And they're massive amounts of metal. Every stone is quite large, especially this one and this one. Did you see all the tapered baguettes that kind of flare in? And then there's the one big tapered baguette in the middle that ties it all together. Look at that. And that's a very distinctive Chateauian cat's eye rubellite. We saw, we all lost our minds when we saw cat's eye indicolite many months ago, and now we're seeing cat's eye rubellite, but I don't have nearly as many of the rubellites as I did the indicolite, so take them while they're here. But they're not gonna be $24.99. Um, remember how I got to do whatever price I wanted to do? And now tonight, after surviving 86 minutes of the show, I've realized it's gonna have to be a lot better than I originally planned, which was already higher than where it's at. So all I need to know is which one do you wanna see? We'll put up the graphics and the specs and try it on as we hear from you, but they're not going to be 24. What if we take them all better than $2,000? I told you I'm giving them Away. I'm giving each and every one away. Jason, do you have a favorite already? Which one? Which one? Cat's eye. Rubellite. Amazing, isn't it? I remember is one, one, two, three, four, nine, six. Let me try it on. It's in solid platinum. Those are 55 points in baguettes that all surround a five carat 65 cat's eye rubellite. It's not going to be $2,000 a ring. Tony doesn't believe me. It's true. It's really happening. I know. He's like, this is not in the script. This is not what's on my rundown. Well, I know. <laughs> He says, what's a rundown? <laughs> That's a news term. That takes me back to my 16-year-old days. But um, guys, we're going to do better than 2000 or 1999. The rubellite is verifying. We still have an imperial, 223. We have the Zambaran, gorgeous. That's huge. We have the opal. Don't miss out on the opal and platinum. The opal's very distinctive, great diamonds around it. Nothing up here is 1999. They're not 1888. They're not. This is crazy low. I am determined to move these four rings. They are museum caliber, every one of them. Super rare, super unique, all of that. They're not even going to be $1,800. If you haven't dialed in, and some of you have not dialed in, this is the time to do it because they're going to go. They got to go. And that's exactly the point. And then we're going to take it right into Tanzanite time, right after this. But these have got to go first. So they're not even $1,888. They're not $1,799. Well, this pretty much qualifies as the giveaway, don't you think? 
and they're not even going to be. This is where you take whatever one you want. The Rubellite is maybe gone. Checking and verifying right now. Not even $17.99. This is a value beyond what we've ever seen before. And they are, I repeat, one of a kind. When they're gone, they're gone. Every single one is as is, but we will size for you. They're $17.77. 60 seconds if they last that long. And all you have to do is dial. Alyssa, what's your favorite? Imperial, let me try it on. That's 18 karat solid gold. Look at that Imperial. That's a two karat 23 with three points of an accent diamond. That's a three point individual stone. Here's what it looks like on the hand. It's kind of got a wondering feel to it. Hey, Jason, did you take the Rubellite? You got it. We'll show the inside of the Rubellite. Look how beautiful this is as that almost spear-like arrow design. Here's the back of the Rubellite in solid platinum. You see how that platinum comes down, meets the finger. So it's gonna be nice and comfortable, built like an under gallery. Here is, see that, it's got some detail to it as well. Look at the inside and the back of that Imperial that you have there, which Alyssa's verifying on. And then of course, we've got still the Opal, Lightning Ridge Opal, that's in platinum right back here. And then this is the two-tone platinum and yellow gold, Zambaran Garnet with pink sapphires and diamonds. Which one do we love? So let me know when you decide because we want to make sure everyone else knows at home when they're gone because obviously they cannot stay here and we're not moving to the Tanzanite until we get every one of those four out the door. Wow, those are some good looking rings. Alyssa, would you like the Imperial? Thank you. Who got it? Tim, you said? Kim. Hi, Kim. Yes. Black Opal, here we go. And by the way, the Imperial is gone. This is the Black Opal. I want to give you an item number there. One, one, two, three, three, eight, eight for you on this one. That's a platinum setting as well. 347 is the size of the Opal, Lightning Ridge Australian All Natural, and 21 points in the diamonds around it. Different side detail here. You've got two different looks to the way that's designed. So it's a little bit of an asymmetrical design. So you get to kind of decide what's top, what's bottom on it, the way you want to orient it. But it's a 347. Lightning Ridge Black Opal with the intense blues and greens, 21 points in the diamonds, and that is also 1777. So last call on anything on this wheel, because you know what time it is. We got to keep a move on. We got the big tansy coming up and can't wait to show it to you. And it's official now. It's our last round. So this one's gone. So let me move that one aside. That is spoken for 3391 gone. And again, last call now. Do you want the cat's eye rubellite, which is verifying? Do you want the black opal or, or do you want that huge Royal Zambaran in platinum and 18K together, big diamond weight. And those are big pink sapphires on the other side in the rounds. Let's give it 60 seconds. And then I think we're all kind of anxious for the tans tonight. We'll show it to you. Coming up next, and I think it's going to last probably 10 seconds. <laughs> That's going to talk about anticlimactic, right? It's probably going to just appear and disappear as soon as it did. We had more time to probably preview it and flash it than we are going to see it here forever. So this is going to be a good one. Make sure you are ready for our big blue wing coming up. The one we've been talking about in that great designer mounting. It's happening next. But we got to clear this wheel first. I am not going to. Okay, guys, I've been given the opportunity here to like really, truly desperation price sell these. $17.77 on each piece that was up at $99.99 or greater. And here they are at $17.77. All platinum or 18K in platinum or straight up platinum. And you get to decide which one you like out of what's left. The Zambaran, which remember that Zambaran is a 660 in size. Trillion cut, which there's no better cut to illustrate the color shifting. The blues, the reds, the purples, the pinks, all of that that happens together, 1777. Then, of course, you have, those are pink sapphires on one side, diamonds on the other, and a big cascading swirling design of platinum and gold. So take a look at them. We're going to give it a last call. Then we have our Tanzanite. Thank you for your patience waiting for that Tanzanite to arrive. It is almost time. We just want to make sure we answer all the questions here on these three. We've got our 347. When do you see a 347? And maybe it's just as simple as this, Tony. Maybe we just move them aside and bring out the graphics. Maybe it's just too tough. I know it's tough to pay attention to just listening to somebody. So 1123603, it's much easier to see with the graphics. So let's just take a moment. Yeah. 
This one, you got it. This is the Zambaran. All the graphics are there for you now, Jess. That's platinum on the side. And then you see that the pink sapphires are set in the yellow gold, and so is this sweep of diamonds. And that's going to be platinum in 18K, 660 on the trillion. Look at that. It looks like a rubellite. It really does. A lot of Zambarans look more purple. That is what Zambaran means, by the way. But this stone has decidedly more red and pink to it, so it ends up looking more like a rubellite tourmaline. Now, for the record, if that was a rubellite tourmaline, you'd probably have to just move that comma over one to the right and add a zero at the end. And 17,000 would be much more appropriate pricing if it were actually a rubellite tourmaline. But that's, that's the fun thing about a Zambaran is that if you get a really, really good stone, you can get one that mimics that really high level tourmaline that is the rubellite. And yet you're still getting this exotic cut, that beautiful flash that the trillion gives you. In this case, look at that setting with that platinum and 18 karat gold is very heavy. It's a wildly heavy piece. I mean, it's got a great feel and weight to it. The way it's finished is lovely. You see how it's like level of metal just wrapping around and creating that little bit of elevation to the piece itself. That's what it looks like. And that's just at least how you can see it evenly there. And we're verifying on that one. Then we'll give the other two a moment to shine here with their graphics. And then we'll move on to the Tanzanite as promised. But 1777 is the way to go if you love that bold beautiful bright and isn't it pretty just to see because you see those hot pinks it was so genius to add the pink sapphires because you see the bright hot pink flares through the stone and so it that naturally just matches the rounds that you have along one side so beautifully done and that's one option now we have our opal here this is going to be our 347 lightning ridge black opal and that one's going to be at number one one two three three eight eight and that would be the opal now you can really see this is this is where i appreciate a good designer and why when jewelry is not mass produced, think about this for a second, when you walk into a store and you see a piece and you see the piece and there's 50 in the back in a back stock room. And then you can call up your friend in Miami and say, go look at such and such store and they're gonna have 50 in the back. And then you can you know, go to every location across the world and they're all gonna have this big supply of mass produced jewelry. And there's not a problem with that. That's how most people have to do it, right? They're, they're, they're a business and to thrive, they've got to. Can we just point out how exquisite this is that when you look at this opal, did you see? Do you know what I'm about to say? Because this custom designer decided to actually be inspired to the point where the pattern of the opal is actually replicated in the design. Take a look, did it, did it stand out that way to you where you can see here that do you see the sweeps of color that go diagonally through the opal are almost like transitioning with the design itself. See that sweep I'm talking about? That's, that's why the designer did it this way. And it's almost like when we saw those roses earlier in the pendant, it's almost like these are the roses that are going sideways diagonally through the design. And that is one incredible 347. Someone's gonna have to tell me, message me, call me, tell me why the big Zambar and Trillion is here. Tell me why this opal is here when you've got detail, sizes, carat weights, patterns, precious metals like this that are done so, so well, thank you. And here we are at 1777, that makes no sense, but it's all in platinum and it's one for the world because that's the difference between big box stores or any chain store where you've got mass produced jewelry that's all the same, lookalikes, mass produced, cookie cutter, or this where that stone was the inspiration behind the design and it looks great because of it. So that's the opal. And then we're going to go to our last look at the cat's eye rubellite, which is the rarest of them all. And so why uh, that, that's here, I have no idea. But that is our cat's eye rubellite in that massive size. And that's going to be item number 1123496. Okay, that's the last one of the batch, 1777. I think you're all waiting now. The tanzanite is coming up. That's the 565 cat's eye rubellite. Also with the baguettes, notice that it's not just the two sides and the two rows of the baguettes that meet. They're met with a perpendicular baguette. Very nice. In platinum, 1777. So that does it. Good night, everybody. Glad you're now. We're just going to get to that Tanzanite. This is what everyone's been waiting for, right? And I, I know that we're excited about this round, and I know we're all holding out, and a lot of us have been holding out hope that there'd be a new discovery, right? A new find, a new secret stash, We've been telling you for five years that this is all part of one collection. Again, welcome to the show. If you just joined us at the bottom of the hour, so glad you're with us tonight. It's Wednesday. We're live. I'm Lauren Blair. This is TV On. Now, we have about 80 minutes, and not much of that is going to have to be spent on this Tanzanite because it is going to go. If you've been waiting on it, I've been talking about it since I came on the air at 7 o'clock. This is item number 1123833. This is the last of the rounds, and I know we had the 10 carat the other day, which we thought at the time was the last. 
this is actually a stone that, um, really exciting actually. You know how we have some stones that are museum reserve? They were set aside five plus years ago to be specifically on the museum circuit when all was said and done, because we felt like we needed to share our blue wing block D tanzanite with the world, i.e. the museums. Because museums, if they're gonna put tanzanite on display, they're not really showing you the best unless they have a blue wing block D. Now, of course, you know that we've been going through a lot of our museum reserves and getting them to you because we've run out of virtually everything else. So this stone is a little different. This stone's exciting because this stone is actually one that we had technically kind of forgotten about. It wasn't on the premises. It wasn't actually here in a vault. It wasn't here circulating for us to create jewelry out of. This was a stone that we had lent out about two years ago to a big publisher. I'm not gonna name names because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say yet, but there's a publishing house that obviously about three years into our material here got wind of this incredible material, was putting together one of those, you know, one of those $800 coffee table books that you put on display that nobody ever actually really leaves through because it's so important. I mean, when you spend that kind of money on a, on a coffee table book, you're not giving it to the grandkids saying, hey, read a book, right? It's that art piece that sits as part of your decor in your home, right? Where you just, you hope for a good cover, right? And that's really what those big books are all about. And you can, you know the designer, it's a great French designer, I love their books, but man, it's, it's the size of a compact, uh, the price of a compact car to buy their coffee table books. But what is so important is what's on the cover of that coffee table book. And they can be a good, you know, they can be 30 pounds and they're this thick. And this is the stone that we had lent out to be photographed, to be the actual centerpiece, the cover art, the main attraction of a coffee table book that is to be published, I don't know exactly when, you'll have to forgive me because I'm not, I don't work for the publisher. But this stone arrived back, it was I guess Friday afternoon, this arrived back. We had sort of forgotten about it a little bit, but it was just literally at one of the big, big, big New York publishing houses where they have a great studio and they've got some of the best photographers, photographers that you know by name because they're the same ones that do high fashion photo shoots and those big names and they shot this stone. So this is now back to us and now it gets to be yours. And goodness knows if, if I have a way, certainly I, I'm gonna have to keep tabs of when this book gets published because I would love for you to have it with this stone, because how cool would that be? Your stone and your ring, then there it is on the cover of that book. It's 1123833, it's a four carat 27 blue wing block D. And what can I tell you? It's as good as Museum Reserve, if not better. We used to have a term when I worked with an oval miner and it was called book grade. And this really literally is book grade. And that was the same concept was for opals, this was the material that he would, the same idea, he would lend out to different photographers and they would photograph only the best of his Lightning Ridge Black Opals and they would be in the glossy pages of those types of books or periodicals or magazines. So this really is our only book grade Blue Wing Block D. Oh gosh, do we need to add to the acronym? We've always called it Blue Wing Block D, right? B-W-B-D-T, because uh, right? I don't want to get carried away, but this is now book grade. So we're gonna have to add a B-G in front of it. So B-G, B-Dub, BDT, it's too much. We'll just call it book grade. It's a 427. Nobody's on the phone lines yet. Maybe you haven't seen me flash this. Maybe you're not in the need for a four carat 27. But what it has is all the best powerful properties that we want out of blue wing block D, which is that gorgeous neon color, the blues, the purples, and the reds, which you know, I love around because I love sparkle. My favorite color is sparkle. My favorite print is sparkle. My favorite theme is sparkle. I love sparkle. And as long as it sparkles, I'm happy. And yet, you know as well as I do, the rounds that give you the ult ultimate and sparkles sometimes take a little bit away from the obvious red flashes. Well, that's not a problem here. So you're getting truly everything in your round. You're not giving up anything. And I'm going to give you quite the value. And we had to set it. This was a lot of pressure. How do we set it? It's the special book grade stone, the only one we have. How do we set it? It's gotta be good. Do we, was, we actually debated, should we just put it in a solitaire? like a four prong solitaire, like a Tiffany setting? Should we just put it in a band with a knife edge band and a solitaire and four prongs and call it a day? And then we thought, no, that looks a little bit engagement ring. We, we know that a lot of us don't need that, right? So how do we set this? How do we set it to show off the importance? We need something 
also that's going to appeal to most of you so that you love it, not just for the stone, but for the mounting as well. How do we do that? Well, this was the answer. And it was quite obvious why, because this is one ever since it was debuted, it's one of the most popular settings we've had. And I'm thrilled to offer it to you because it is brand new right now. And yeah, we've seen other tans and I'd set this way in the past and they've been popular, but those were different stones. So my question to you is, how can we help you discover the best of the best, literally, that we've had? that will soon be gracing the cover of an amazing book. And we only have, uh oh, nobody's on the lines yet. Nobody, really? Oh no, okay. Well, I'm gonna need some help then. Let's turn it around. And if you think, I've seen the prices on the museum reserves, so I'm not sure I'm gonna like the price on the book grade. Well, maybe you will because we're fighting it tonight. That's the inside. As, I mean, maybe not as pretty, but it's pretty. Not as pretty. Is anything gonna be as pretty as what we see right up front there? But do you see what they did? You know how Portuguese round has that floral pattern of the faceting? So see what they did? They re repeated that in the under gallery. They repeated it. The diamonds are set into the gold. It's burnished. So you have a wearable, easy to wear, really, really simple, easy, but it's a dome, but it's not too high. It doesn't sit flat. It's that perfect happy medium where it's pronounced, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not hard to wear. It's not getting in the way. It's all the things you want a really good, solid, heavy ring to be, and is gonna be affordable. What can I say? Here we are on a Wednesday night. Nobody saw this coming, myself included. This is your moment to pick up a 79 night. Why is it only 79.99? Why? We wanted to give it away. I've learned through 104 minutes tonight with you that we're gonna need to do something far more dramatic than a 79.99 price tag. But if you haven't dialed in, listen, you haven't because nobody has yet. This is the time to do it and expect the unexpected when it comes to value because this is going to be it. And what can I tell you? It is the value. It is the value. This is the shape everybody always wants. We had the 10 carat just the other day, which we thought was our last. And oh yeah, then this arrives Friday. What's this? We were, it was in an armored box. It was delivered by hand by one of those, you know, um, what do they call those? Like, I don't want to use the name of the company because, you know, uh, but you know, those armored vehicles that carry really, really high end goods where, you know, the, the delivery drivers, you know, carry more than just like a little, you know, signing pen, you know, they, they've got, they're armed, they're armed because they're carrying really valuable goods. That's how this arrived. We thought the Hope Diamond was showing up. We thought, okay, this is good, this is exciting. Um, we needed like photo IDs just to like take possession of the ad. Anyway, enough about that. $79.99, not gonna be. Do we have anybody who likes it? Listen, if you don't like it, don't buy it because that's, I never want you to buy something just because, you know, cool story, like that's cool. I want you to buy it because you want to wear it. You know, jewelry is jewelry. It's not like your stamp collection where they got to just sit in a little book, right? No offense to stamps, I think they're cool, but this is something you wear. This becomes part of you. This is your accessory. This is something to be proud of. And yeah, at the end of the day, you got our last round and there is a sto story, a cool story behind it. So that's what's fun. And it's not going to be $79.99, but we have nobody on the line. So come on over. Maybe you need to see it on the hand. I just think you're all waiting for something to go down and that's the price. So we're gonna do that right now. And you don't have to pay, and I know I'm supposed to auction this, and I'm supposed to start at $5,500 minimum and go from there. Notice this, from the side profile, you still see the diamonds burnished in the sides wrapping around it. Look at that, from one side to the other, from this side to this side, look at how that goes. One side to the other, nothing but diamonds. It's amazing, it's not 5,500, that's my auction open should be. We're gonna go a lot lower than that and we're gonna need you on the lines, but take a look at the intensity of that stone. The sparkle, the beauty, the brightness, and listen, I'm gonna give this advice that I give every single day I stand up here with you, which is a lot. It's to dial in early because everyone thinks they hear that and they go, bah, 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 there she goes again, dial in early. For what? So you can be there when I get to this low price because I am on my like agenda here. We are just giving away jewelry. If you haven't seen any of the last hour and 47, try to take a look back because this has been giveaways all night 
and this is going to be maybe the best one that probably, let's face it, should not be discounted. It's got importance to it. It's valuable. It's not 55. It's not 45. It's not even going to be $4,000 to get this one to you or $39.99. And I know our lines are going to get busy. And remember, I say call in early because, you know, we don't just pin you down and force you to buy it. It does. It is what gives you that opportunity. Whereas the people that call in after the fact go, darn it, why didn't I listen? Because by that point, when you wait to see the price and call in, we have really savvy, long time seasoned shoppers here who know what's up and they know we don't have a hundred of these and they know they can't call tomorrow and get it and they can't call next week and get it. You can't go online to our app or our website and go get it. You can't do that. You got to call in. So at least you put yourself at the front of the line. It was frowned upon in elementary school at recess, but it's really, really, really important to do it right now. Put yourself at the front of the line. Cut. Just do that. Get there now because then you're ready when this price does drop, you get to say yes. And then everyone else says, oh, darn it. Why did I miss out? Don't even spend $39.99 and you can have any gold you want. You can have any size you need. You're going to get it shipped to your doorstep for free. And I say mostly for those of you that have never shopped here before, or maybe you've shopped here, but you have yet to shop the Blue Wing Block D's. Well, now you're getting the book grade. And by the way, it's the book grade. I mean, that, that three letter word we might need to add in front of book because this is not like one of many. This is not one of many museum reserves. It is one book grade stone and you've got it now. That's it. Okay, $39.99 doesn't work. That's okay. Let's blow it out. I'm gonna give it 60 seconds. I'm gonna drop this price again and then I'm gonna lose my mind here and we're gonna congratulate whomever gets it. Thinking about it there? Jason, you thinking about it? What about you, Alyssa? Are you thinking about it? Two people? Uh-oh. I think we've got our battle. I think we've got our battle. Two people on the phone lines, ready to go. Not 39. I'm going to take it even lower. And all you have to do is say, yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm going to get that at home and see what that's about. And I'm going to see if it's for me. And if it's not, you don't hear me say this much, but I encourage you to return it. <laughs> if it's not your perfect piece, if it's not a piece that you can't stand the thought of living without, send it on back because we would love to have this in a museum. Remember, we've given away most of the museum reserves at this point. So, hey, I think the museums would be quite satisfied getting this book grade stone. But if you love tanzanite, if you want to try a four carat, if you don't have a round yet, if most of your tanzanites and most of them here have been double halos, bridge mountings, a little more traditional settings, and you want something that's going to give you a completely different vibe, this is very well it because it's got that dome style to it. It's still a lot of gold, sits low profile, easy to wear, but it's not even going to be $3,500. We're blowing it out. I'm making this easy. It's not even $3,000 at all. We're going to take it down to $2,999. And whoever gets it, gets it. $2,999. I'm waiting. Two callers, thinking about it, verifying. You know what? I'm going to go lower. Let's stay there. Let's, now, you at home need to pick up the phone and dial in. It's not going to be 29. I, I, I just need to, I need to have the enthusiasm from you. I need to not only say that's a good price. I need you to say that's the best price I've ever seen. It's got to be, it's got to be something that you're as proud of the value as you are about the piece itself. That is important. It's not going to be 29.99. Let's go even lower. And if you haven't dialed, feel free to do so. The fact that I, I know it's verifying right now, we could leave it here for 30 seconds and it's gone. We're going to take it even lower than that. It's not $29.99. It's not even going to be $28, $27, 26 I'm just going to keep on going because I can't risk this staying here. And I would have never imagined in my wildest dreams that it would be at this point. But some days are different than others. And this is what we got to do. And we're going to give away, yeah, let's give away the book grade. Let's give it away. It's what we've been doing on every other stone. So I don't see any reason to stop now. And it's not even going to be 26 or $25.99. If you have not dialed, honestly, I don't know if there's going to be much chance here, to be honest. I don't think so. I think it's going to be gone, but hold on. If we can do even better, let's do even better. Let's go. Let's go even lower. I'm going to try it on again. Yes, any gold you want. Look at the inside under gallery. Look at that there. 
Look at the inside under gallery you have, and this is it. It's now or never. It's now or never on the rounds. We're getting down to the rest of the blue wings anyway. So, you know, at this point, you got pretty much ovals as your last call, and there's nothing wrong with the ovals, but they're just not as exotic as the rounds. And you're not spending $2,500. Let's go $24.99, only 60 cents. You know what? Stop. We're not going to do that either. I got to make sure it goes. I'm not sure what's going on. But I'll tell you this. Try it. I, I really, truly, 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 I adore this stone. I'm a, fan, I'm a Tanzanite fanatic anyways, always have been. I've been lucky enough to throughout my career sell only Block Ds, but this is that next level. There are Block Ds elsewhere, just to be clear. This is another level. This is a totally different specific source. It's a specific vein of the D Block. No longer producing. We got about 15 years left of Tanzanite production overall, and you can't get this anywhere else. And I know I'm talking to a lot of people already know that, but there's always, if there's one person that's never seen it before, it's worth it to reiterate those things so that one new person or one new collector or one Tanzanite lover knows what this is and why it's special. And it's not, it's not $24.99. I keep on going. I know that that is just, it's too good a value at this point, but take it if you love it. It's not even 24 or 23 or 22, 21.99. I don't know what to, what's happening, but I know this. Somebody is going to be really, really, really happy and really proud that they got this deal here tonight. Somebody is going to be really happy. And even more so when you get it at home and you open that box, then you're going to be even more so. Thrill doesn't even begin to cover it. If you haven't tried it, try it. Our Blue Wing Block D is unsurpassed quite literally. It truly is. That is not just a line. It really, truly is the literal best in the world. And we are running really, really low. And here's the book grade, the book grade. It's not $21.99. I'll keep going. I just got to sell it and I got to make you happy. And hopefully, yes, am I, am I buying your love? Yes. Am I bribing you to appreciate and love TV on right now? Forget about TV on me because this is it. This is it. This is a value that there's TV on's price. And here's, I don't know what we're going to call this, but I am not taking responsibility for this. Just because the words come out of my mouth does not mean I can take responsibility. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. Blame Wednesday. I don't know. It's not $21.99. Let's go even lower. $2,099. The fact it's still here is mind boggling to me. I've seen it all, but this is crazy. Let's get it at home right now. It's not even $2,099. This is the one to get if you want it in yellow, in rose. Try it any way you want it. We recommend it in white gold, especially with a carrot 20. I haven't even talked about the carrot 20. I had to look and see if it's still up there. It's up there, right? You're getting a carrot 20 in big VS diamonds to go with your round. Set into the gold, very complicated designer mounting. Finished on the inside. You choose any gold you want. We're gonna ship it to your house for free. If you've never tried, any of our jewelry before. If you never thought you would shop off TV for fine jewelry, you have got to change that mindset now and you'll never look back. Greatest thing you could do. Start with this piece as your collectible. It's not even $2,000. We're going to make it $1,999 instead. And I'm just going to say, you got to get it. You got to get it. You got to try it. You got to get it. And let me try it on again for you because I think it's going to need, yep, 60 seconds, if that much if that much time because why look at that stone 427 and it's the book grade and you've got all those colors and the liveliness and the brilliance and the red still there i hope now i know everybody these days see i've been doing this so long i remember when people only had to watch a tv show off of their tvs like that's how long i've been doing this back in the day in the olden days in the dark gauges right you only could watch tv on and other networks like it on tv now you might be watching on a phone. That's how my mom watches on her little tiny phone. And then she puts hockey on her big screen or basketball on her big screen or baseball or she's not into baseball as much as she, I'm just kidding. She likes baseball. But the Mets were rained out today, so she's watching hockey. But the point is she watches on a little phone. You might be watching on an iPad or a, or a computer screen. And I know that everybody's settings are different. Why am I talking about this? Because everybody's setting and monitor is different. And so I don't know what you're seeing at home, but I suspect if this is still here, you're not seeing what I'm seeing, which in person delivers the most undeniable, rich, saturated, think like neon out of this world grape, like that neon bright purple 
with the most sensational celestial blues, like a neat, like a big, deep, 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 like cobalt, with reds, raspberry reds coming through, all the way through the dance, the glitter, the sparkle of that stone, and it's $1,999. You know, that, that is, that's very special. <laughs> that's a very special ring. And all that, we're throwing in a carat 20 in diamonds. We're throwing in, there's a lot of gold in this ring. I mean, I have a long finger. I have a long hand. That's a long ring and it's a wider ring, but still wearable and comfortable and tapers in the back. So you don't need to go up in size, did the Knights win? Okay, I don't know. Did. <laughs> I think it's over. I don't know. I should know. I've been so caught up in my, my book grade. I don't even, I haven't even checked the ESPN app. I don't even know what's happening, but something good's happening and it's right here right now. Take a look at that. Wow. 1999. Okay. So I'm going to move on and we're going to talk about something entirely different. And I don't know what that is yet, but I know that book grade Tanzanite and I cannot wait till that book is published. And, and you're, you're looking online one day and you see that, that big publisher and I kid you not, their books are eight and $900. The last one I looked at was about yachts. Maybe it was because it was about yachts, but it was $1,200 because my brother's got a, he's got a little boat. So I thought I'd get him the yacht book. Well, he's a 55 footer, you know, old school, it's, it's mid-century. It's a mid-century. It's a wooden boat. He's got a wooden yacht. He restored it. So I thought I'll get him the yacht book. And then it's $1,200. <laughs> I, I, I had second thoughts. I have to wait. Maybe when, I, when he invites me onto the boat, that's when he'll get, yeah. That, that's maybe, that makes more sense, right? 1990, he has invited me. I don't have a current passport. You know, they won't let me leave the country. They, they won't. Yeah, we'll get into that another time. But yeah, I can't leave the country. I can only sell, I can only sell stones. <laughs> this is why I never go anywhere. <laughs> Here we go, 1999. Oh, don't tell me that. All right. They lost big, Tony. They lost big. They're fighting for playoff seating. You can't have that. All right, coming up. Let's keep moving. What do we even do after this? Do we have an hour left? I got to be here for 60 more minutes. Really? I got a birthday party to get to. I, I have to be here? Okay. So <laughs> if this stays here, they can put someone else up. I mean, right? Right? That's, that's a fact. All right. Coming up, <laughs> let's get to a yellow diamond. Oh, no. I haven't shown you the white diamond. I did not show this ring to you yet. I did not show this yet. The white diamond. I hinted at this at the beginning of the show. I did not show it to you yet. Oh, I haven't even previewed it. But I will now. Wow, look at that. We got a diamond ring that's new and it's different. So diamond rings usually are very bridal, right? It's like a center stone, solitaire bridge, something very bridal, something you wear on your left ring finger. But a lot of us like diamonds in other ways too, and we don't always have to wear a diamond in that spot. So we're going to show you a diamond ring that's still going to feature a really good diamond that's going to have nice size and could be worn anywhere on the hand that's almost a little wider like this. So if you tend to like a little more gold weight and bigger pieces and I could just stare at this all day, which is why I hope I get a copy of that book <laughs> because I hope it's not $1,200. I hope it's one of the $800 ones, not the $1,200 ones, but I'm going to get a copy. And then um, that's the good news. Listen, if you do miss out on the Tanzanite, you can always, I guess you can go buy the book when it comes out and still look at it that way, right? That'll be the, the only alternative to seeing that for 27 again. But congrats if you get it. Welcome to the show. I just wanted to pop in and say welcome if you just tuned in. Last hour is here. We've got a last final hour. Big time, big time, big time value. $19.99. Amazing piece. Let's see it one more time for the people that just tuned in. Uh, last look, just to, just to admire it. It's probably gone, but just wanted to show it to you one more time. Let's get into the diamond ring, right? Got a little preview of it. Show it to you now. I feel like this is a, like a little bit higher end version of the raindrop ring. Okay, let's talk about it. It's item number 1123876. Okay. Ready? I mean, I'm almost, I don't even want to leave it. I, I don't even want to put it to the side. I just want to keep looking at it. It's so amazing. But we do have to get to a little more jewelry here. And this 
is it. Layers and layers and layers of gold and diamonds and that's a big stone in the center too. And do you see, I said earlier, the hint I gave was we might have a new angle on a diamond ring. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. Who got the cat's eye rubellite? I was wondering. Oh, good. Thank you so much. I was wondering what everyone was talking about. We have a few pieces that are selling from earlier in the show because we have been here two hours and we've had a lot of great pieces. You know what I should do, Tony? Real quick before we get too deep into the hour is flash that opal because if this one is still here, mm, I don't know, that opal, I believe is still here. And that is item number 1123655, just reminding you. <sighs> That's a cool piece. It's beyond cool. It's like the greatest opal I've seen us do in platinum and 18 karat gold. And yes, we will get to that diamond ring. I just wanted to recap this for everybody just tuning in because on these weeknights, this is our busiest hour, is the 9 to 10 hour. So wanted to make sure you get another look at this natural black opal just one of the brightest most unbelievably neon stones in two tones of metal it's platinum and it's 18k and it's also a five carat 97 67 points in diamonds including two big asher cuts one on this side one on that side bezeled in yellow gold the rest is in platinum and pave on the sides meeting up with that yellow gold double basket even six prongs it needs it it's a big stone six carats see one prong for every carat of gem weight and it looks fantastic and it's $29.99. It was here earlier. Just want to make sure you saw it because that's one of the big buys that I just don't know how that's still here. But maybe you missed it. We also had diamond slice earrings earlier. I know how many of you loved those and missed out on those previously. One more pair has come out to play tonight. So if you missed those, let me know. We can recap them for you and then that is the big opal which i'll try on one more time on the hand and then definitely let me know and then we'll get back to our diamond new ring which is that really cool designer style this is it look at that that's a great piece isn't it yes please okay so coming up let's go let's get to the diamond ring if you want the opal let me know let's go back here and then we'll bring this one right back in so this is our 50 point oval diamond set at an angle it's going to be item number 1123876, and it has a 50-point VS oval set at an angle intentionally to fit. Well, we've done this ring once before with Paraiba, so there's something very elevated and special about this design overall, I would say, and that is what you're seeing right here. But also, let's take a look at the 65 points in diamonds around it, because that's actually, I feel like it's layers. It reminds me a little bit of our very high style, very popular raindrop ring in that it's got some open work throughout the midpoint and then it's got diamonds kind of scattered throughout. However, and a top and a bottom to it. But there's so much more detail even in this one because you have mill grain around all those different, when you look, it's actually a trio of diamonds lining the top and the bottom. Then this extra, this almost, I feel like it's floral. It's like a floral halo is on top of the band. See how it's elevated? So you get essentially, I like to look at it as almost like an animal print in the cutouts through the middle. Then you have the trios or tree foils of diamonds, top and bottom, lining the borders. And then everything you see around your big center diamond is extra diamonds. They're set up above and around. And okay, this is kind of a heavy ring, so it tends to either lean back or fall forward. So I'm just gonna try to kind of like that angle there to see the detail. So it's our 50 pointer with 65. So yes, that's a carat 15 in diamonds overall, but really it's what we don't usually see, which is that big center VS diamond. That's what's more unusual to see around here. We feature a lot of color. Diamonds are a little bit more what we see elsewhere. Here we like to feature those really exotic colored stones for you. And this is just a return to what so many of you look for and ask for since it's not usually here. So it's kind of a thrill to see it. And yet really great designer style, unique and special, but you still haven't seen it on. And that's when I think this piece really starts to really become the piece that everyone oohs and ahs over is when you see it on the hand and you watch and marvel over the texture, the detail. It's a tiny size right now, but there it is on the hand. I just don't think, I think it's too wide for a, a pinky ring. So look at that though. It really, even, I love that we get close so we can show you all those extra special details, but to see it on, 
is to really appreciate that overall size it's giving you the way everything is kind of stacked and stacked and then a little more stacking on top of each other it's just it's really detailed it's really t textured but overall it's got a nice wider band still going to taper it in the back so we ensure that it is comfortable for you and let's take a look at this up close and um, we well, can actually change the gold color if you want to we obviously like to show off the diamonds and the white gold, but um, if you'd rather have yellow or rose, let's do that for you. But here's what we've got, a great opportunity, and you know, I'm coming off a big Tanzanite enigma, I'm gonna call it. I don't know what else to really call it. It was a, an interesting Tanzanite moment. So, coming off of that and into this, I figured what we do is just, um, you know, kind of starting our last hour here, put it up on the auction block. There is a $69.99 price tag on it. That's what we have assigned for it to go out tonight. And that's logical in all respects when you consider what kind of diamonds in the middle. I mean, it's not easy to get bigger diamonds. You know, that's where I think a lot of people, there's a, a mystique to the diamond world in that they're common and every day. But when it comes to really good size and really good quality, that's where they get a little bit more tricky to get a hold of. This is a VS stone. It's a 50 pointer. You know, it would have made a difference. If it was a 48 pointer. If it was a light half carat, that would really take the value a little bit lower. It'd make it a little more, you know, easy to afford. When you've got a 50 pointer that hits that magic size and that threshold, the value really goes up. So you've got a VS stone. It's brilliant and lively like all of our diamonds are. So even if you're getting a, a one point accent or a 50 point center, it's got to be the best and the boldest and the brightest of color. That's what this is. And we're going to take $69.99 and get rid of it and put it on the auction block for you to make your own price. That's even better for you to decide what do you want to pay? What is it that's going to make you really happy to try this ring, get the designer style, see what it's all about, you know, get it at home, put it on your hand. Try a different gold color, perhaps. And help you with the price tag. That's what I'm here to do. Help you. Let's help you with the price tag. It's no longer going to be $69.99 if we put it on the auction block and get all of our bidding, bidding fired up. I was going to say bidders. And then I was going to say bidding. And I just think we need bidders to do bidding. So let's just make this easy and not even start at $5,000 or $4,000 or 3,000. Remember there's a 115 total weight, but it really comes down to that center stone. That is so important. What's in the center. And we're going to make this so, so amazing. It's not going to be 3,000 to open, not even 25 to open. And this is a little different than just diamond weight. You got a lot of gold weight. There's a lot of details. If this ring was easy to create, we would have seen it a lot more than just one other time. And that one other time, it had a one carat Parayiba. By the way, that's also important to mention because the one carat, I think it was a 90 pointer to be exact. But that Parayiba was a nearly one carat or just about. So this 50 pointer, remember the mounting can't change. This is the same mounting. So what that tells you is the last time, do you remember when we saw this with Parayiba? It was in the white gold as well. It was part of a blowout trio. It was only about a week or two ago. And that was a one carat stone, a one carat tourmaline. So the fact is this 50 pointer with all the importance that size gives you, it's still looking bigger. It's looking bigger. Uh, Pam, you're gonna have to let me know, is, is Sophia watching? Because if she is, we gotta give her a shout out because we have word that she, um, Pam, did name her owl piece that she got, her 22 karat star ruby, she, she named it. So we have to just know, Sophia named it, that's her granddaughter, so we'll find out if Sophia's watching, she gets a special shout out. But here we go, 25, hundred dollars it's not going to be we're going to move this out and we're going to give you a really really special opportunity it's not even two thousand dollars we i kind of feel like i'm at a deficit after what i did with the tanzanite and i didn't we didn't hear a lot a lot of phone calls so i want to make sure that at least on this one we do and the only way to do that is to go backwards in the open so that's what we're going to do right now it's not even two thousand dollars take a look it's not going to be two thousand i love that Oh, it's not even going to be 19, 18, 17, 1600 dollars. There's a lot going on in this ring. It's big, it's bold, it's got a different look and a different presence about it. Let's go 1500. Just round it out. 1500 with a 10 dollar increment. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. And that's when you know it's good because I have a very strict and high standard when it comes to values here. So that is thrilling. We are here with a, uh-huh, well, not yet, yet. We don't have an official open, but I have a feeling it is forthcoming. So here we are, $1,500 to get it all started.
Andy, is that big opal still here? That 597 opal is still here? Whew. Let's try it on again. White or yellow or rose gold? You get to decide. How? It's, fr what am I, 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 something, it's giving me a very definitive theme and I can't quite put my finger on it. It just looks so detailed, opulent. I just love, see, I love a designer ring that's different. You know, I, I know designers do a lot of basics too. You can get designer jewelry that looks really out there and whimsical or you can get, you know, designers do great basics and classics as well. But this just has a look you know what I mean, right? Some pieces have an aura about them. They just look important. They just look expensive. I mean, let's be honest, right? That's not all what we're trying to accomplish with our jewelry necessarily, but some pieces just do that. They carry with them that kind of vibe, feel, look, something. And this is just, I, I don't know how you look at that and not think designer all the way. And I know it's still a little bit of a newer mounting. It's not one we, we know of or have a nickname for or used to seeing, but it obviously is complicated. It just, it, the fact it's not a coincidence, it's only housed a 50 point VS diamond and a pot of Yiba. Not a coincidence. So no luck on the auction, huh? Or do we have verifications going on? Looks like we might be verifying the open. Are you guys hot back there too, or is it just up here? Just the other day, what night was that? And Jess and I left this place. We were like, we swore there were icicles forming off of our foreheads. And now today it's just, yeah, we've been having these 35 degree swings day by day. It's so odd. Our weather is really strange these days. But um, here we are. 15, we've got it. You verifying on this one? Anybody? Jason, what are you doing back there? What? Is DoorDash still open? Can we, can we get something? For Tony, yeah, exactly. Tony just, yeah, I got his attention. <laughs> you ready to tell him what do you feel like? 1,500 we have. We've got the open, thank you, we've got it. Well, it's a newer style. I, I say this all the time with our newer designs that we're not as maybe well-informed on or haven't seen over and over, so we're not super well-versed on where they go or what their pricing is. It, it sometimes happens that way. And I started really low, just to try and get a lot of activity and We did get activity, just not a lot of activity. We have a bidder at 15. So let's give it a final call. We'll give it two minutes and we'll sell it. It's really that simple. It's a $10 increment. That's it. So it's not going to be the end of the world, I don't think. If you're going, oh darn, I missed that open. Well, we do have the open, so we know it's going to sell. So at this point, it gets a little bit of that situation where you don't want to wait and think, I'll shop for it next week because it is going to sell here tonight. We know that. It's going to go. So we're at, we're at 15. We're looking for $10 increments here. You can power bid. I know it's a 50 point diamond and I know it's again, that's a little harder to also wrap our heads around value because we don't bring you a lot of 50 point diamonds in one single center stone. Usually we're all about the diamond accents. And again, the big colored exotic stones are in the middle. This is obviously a, a difficult stone to acquire for $1,500, but it's got a lot of extras with it. It's got a lot of gold underneath it. It's really that beautiful designer style that if you like a band ring, something with a little more presence, a little more wow, not just in its look, but in its feel, this is the way to go. And we are at 15 and it will sell because we have our open right over here. So let's give it a final two minutes. And all you have to do if you're thinking about maybe trying to give it a shot here and make it yours, all you have to do is dial within that two minutes. And you got a carrot 15 of diamonds up for grabs. And we're looking at $1,500 only. So that is a superstar value. It's a $7,000 ring. It's at 15. So, you know, and that's not retail, by the way. Oof, retail would be, what, three, four times that. Most retailers work on a triple key. That's what we used to say in the olden day. These days, it's a little different. It's more like five times, six times. Depending on whose name is engraved on the inside, it can be even more. So let's take a last look at it here. We've got 15, and we'll give it two minutes. Tony ready with the clock there. We're ready and we are ready to give it away. That's for sure. But it's our last chance, last call. Two minutes, I'm gonna try it on again here. Oh, okay, that's right. I didn't realize, Pam, I didn't honestly, to be honest, I didn't know where you lived. <laughs> she said she's on the East Coast. My granddaughter's not up right now. Oh, but, oh good, oh, that's great. Oh, and she, oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Well, Pam, the next time she is watching, I'll remember all this and make sure 
that you, you let me know the next time she is watching and we'll make sure she gets a live shout out too. <laughs> oh, how sweet. That is so, she's, what a sweetheart she is. Wow. Um, take a look at this. There's the ring one more time. And let me try to show you the profile here so you can see how it actually is. Just to see here how the actual centerpiece is set up a little higher. Nothing that goes too over the top at all. I love that they make sure the details go one side to the other. So even as you move your hand around, you're not seeing those diamonds come to a stop there. They just keep on going just to the right point where you want them to stop at a certain point so that when your hand is together, like my fingers are here, you're not getting any discomfort. One of my pet peeves, and I know it's, it's a little bit of a simple superficial one, but it is a pet peeve when you sell jewelry for a living is when if jewelry is uncomfortable, if jewelry scratches or is sharp or has a, a, a sharp edge to it, it is not exactly, and I got my fingerprint on it, and as we've already discussed, we don't need that out in the world. So yeah, there you go. Um, get the authorities after me. But um, that's really what, what to me is a deal breaker. If it's uncomfortable to wear, oof, no way. I've had pieces I've rejected because I try them on the ear here and I go, ooh, Never mind, because <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell you a piece that you know is uncomfortable for you to wear. It's, it's to be honest, obviously seeing pieces on the hand or to show you size and scale first and foremost, but it's also to do that comfort check. You know, most of the pieces I know pretty well and could tell what it is by just feeling it if I was blindfolded. But you know, there are newer pieces like this where it's still that little test run or trial run to make sure I do the road test to make sure it is gonna be comfortable. Because if it's not, I am not afraid to reject it. I am not gonna just put my, my time, energy, and, and you know, enthusiasm into trying to sell you something that is ever not made perfectly or has any issues or is, is uncomfortable. I mean, I'm a jewelry wearer as well. So you know, it's, it's a major point of pride for me. So here we go, do we have 1510? Anybody on this one? Is anybody verifying? Uh, Jess, what you is in the Jess, what are you asking about? Is there something we should recap or flash? All right, so not on this one. Mm -hmm. She's not on this one. You're checking, you're verifying, 1510, yes, no? Got it? Wait a minute, we got one person who they're telling me just, I think we got a new register here, who's trying to get in. So let me see, let's make sure we are fair here and make sure they have a chance to get in if that's what they're trying to do here. And then we've got our last call, so 1510, 15 what? 1550? No? Yes, we'll find out. Maybe, check in. I know, it's so beautiful. And if you're a yellow gold, listen, I love yellow gold. You know I wear a lot of yellow gold. If you are a yellow gold person, do not think that it's a hard and fast rule that white diamonds have to be in white gold. If you are a yellow gold devotee, get it in the yellow gold and wear it in the yellow gold. It'll still look great in the yellow gold. It really will. It'll change the look. It'd be a very different look. But if you love a lot of yellow gold and you want bold gold presents and you still want to see, I mean, the diamonds are the diamonds. They're going to look great regardless. But you can go that route and still have a really special look. So 1500 going once, or do we have 1510? You got it? Yes, no? Sold. Congratulations. We're going to move along. I do have a very, very important Tanzanite necklace. So even though the round is gone, we have to show you this, and it comes with the chain. Let me just make sure this is set up right. I'm going to put it on my hand here before I show it to you up close so you can see that this is more of like a station style, and this one's gone. Congratulations. And here is the Tanzanite necklace. Those are all big, big diamonds that you have on each side. And I'm going to drape this properly because this one obviously needs a neckline to sit on. I'm gonna to try to replicate it as best I can. But this is more, do you see how it's like a station style there? So it's gonna be one, one, two, three, three, eight, one. Do we love it? It's like a side to side floral. You get the uh, platinum piece. Yes, platinum, 158 oval tanzanite, 86 points. And let's throw in this chain. It's all attached, so it has to come along with it. I was checking to make sure this is not a pendant. It's one huge necklace. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw in the chain here, which has two lengths. You can see it's got the spring ring closure, and then it's hard to find, but there's an O-ring right here. So you're gonna have, what was this one? 16 and 15, right. And let's go ahead and show it on the neckline here before we get any further, just so you can see what that, oh, how pretty is that? So this is meant to be worn a little bit higher in the neckline. I am showing you where 15 and 16 hit approximately on my neckline. Just for an average size neckline, it's gonna fit right there at the base 
of the collarbone. So really just a beautiful fill into the neckline here. Let's show it up close as well. And it's gonna be 1123381. Take a look, and this is all diamond cut to that chain. Again, we wanted to go premium here because it's an important piece and you can't, or can you? I'm just double checking here. Can you? No, it's all attached. Gosh, for a minute my eyes were deceiving me. I want to make sure I'm giving you accuracy here. This is a full necklace, and I'm going to try to tilt that forward just a bit so you can see that beautiful look. But do you see how they're all marquise cuts that are almost bouquet together, if you will? And that's going to be platinum, 86 points. What do we have? Maybe two, four, six, looks like six diamonds per side there, so a dozen. And you've got, on average, you figure those diamonds are going to be approximately seven, eight points a piece, somewhere in that neighborhood. And a spring ring closure, all of that beaded chain is diamond cut, though. There's a beaded chain they do out in the world that is very basic, and it's still pretty. It's mirror finish. But this diamond cutting to the beaded chain, it just makes it look like you are wearing it on a diamond collar, like a simple, elegant, fine diamond collar. It looks amazing. Okay. So now we're just going to price it because there's only one. And we got to give it away because that's what we're doing tonight. We've only got now 35 minutes left to do it. And then we've got a big Peridot piece. It's a, pro a brooch. We've got a brooch. And we've got a big 788 Congolese. That's here too. So much to get to, just so little time. So here we are, 15 or 16 inches. Yes. I can't. Are you talking about the one that it sold, right? Did it? Or did it not? It didn't? Oh, okay. Yes. Let's show that again. I'm thinking of the Rubellite. The Rubellite sold. The Zambarin, I think, is still here. Jason, who's this for? And I'm going to flash it. Who is it? Marcy. Oh, hi, Marcy. So you know what I'll do real quick on this one? Blow it out so then we can, you know, gear towards that Zambarin. I've got a $49.99 Tanzanite necklace here with those big diamonds. We're going to make this $1,499 instead of $49.99. And we will uh, just do that. So simple, easy. And I'm going to start with the Sambarin on the hand. Remember, the, Jason, I, don't, I know it doesn't say in the system, but those are pink sapphires that weren't added into the cost. So when we talk about pink sapphires, they were never in the designer's descriptor, but they are there. And they're cascading on this side, and then the diamonds are on this side. And then that's your Zambar and Garnet, which is item number 1123603. -3. So just a little recap, and remember, heavy weight to your gold and your platinum. It's half platinum, half gold. There's the platinum, there's the gold. And then more platinum. The whole band in the back is done in platinum. Yeah. Tanzanite necklace is sold. Thank you so much. Let me know, Alyssa, who got that one, you know. Hi, Dale. Thank you so much, Dale. Appreciate it. And then here we go. I'm going to bring this up close for Jason. Here it comes with the platinum. This one is spoken for, so I'm going to move that aside. And we're, how did this one sit? This one sat better this way, or rather it's this way. And you've got it. All right. Congratulations, Zembar and Garnet with the pink sapphires and diamonds is now sold. Congratulations. Doesn't leave us with much, but that opal is here. And then it's, it looks like I have a request coming up. Thank you so much for Michael. Oh, Michael's been thinking about this one for a while. Michael, we've got it. 1121951. Let's move along. Ooh. I never ever get tired of looking at this stone. Ever. Hi Michael, thanks for the request. 1121951. What a good year that was. I mean, I wasn't around for it, but it was a good year. Nonetheless. I mean, it looked like I was around for it, but no, I was not. But this 1712. 1712, that's the largest emerald cut we have. It's about as large as they can get and still go in a ring. You know what I mean? It's any larger, it'd have to be a pendant. It's a 12 by 15 millimeter. It has, now we break down the diamond weight. Why did we do that? You have 50 points in pear shapes, which are those very distinctive larger stones north and south. The rest of the round brilliance, that's 52. So you've got a carat of two total in diamond weight. I've got to try it on because the size is probably what's kept a lot of people from it. To be honest, it's just a really big ring that's probably a little larger than what most people are looking for on a daily basis. But that's not maybe a daily ring or maybe it is. It doesn't matter. You wear it whenever you want to wear it. You have one of the most highly collectible sizes and qualities in blue wing block D we've ever brought. It's one of our few of our emerald cuts. To be honest, I thought this was gone but I think it's been on reserve, on hold for a while, and now it's been released. So no longer $19,999, there's the beauty of it. Here's what it looks like on though, and that's really what's 
critical here is to see it on so you can really see it is going to be classic fan in the back, but it's going to really go on my hand knuckle to knuckle. So it's still comfortable. You get your regular. This one's actually about two sizes too big and it's still sitting really centered. So you can't be scared that it's going to do that top heavy thing. Just get your right size and it'll fit beautifully and keep that stone and the diamond centered up on the hand. And you can see how it really does fill in the finger there too. So it's going to be better than 99.99, which is already your 50% off sale. And that's pretty impressive, but we're going to go lower than that. It's not 99.99. It's not even 89.99. How on earth, when you think about some of the best level stones we brought, some of the best per carats we brought, include the really big individual diamonds you have throughout, and yet it's not even going to be 89.99. We'll blow it out right now. It's going to be 88, 88 right now, first caller. And that's going to be it. That will be so, so special. Oh, sure. You know what? Um, for M's mom, we do. Let me see. Um, she's looking, Andy, maybe if you'd be so kind. Do we have anything in a wider cigar band in diamonds? I assume she means diamonds. That's 2,500 to 2,800. I know the four carats a little over that, but maybe we have something a little bit smaller. That's maybe our three carat. If that's still around, we'll, we'll check and see for you. Thank you, Tony, for relaying that request. And let me know, M's mom, if you are indeed looking for diamonds and not just like a solid gold band because we don't have solid gold bands. But if diamonds, yes, we'll see what we have in a cigar band and diamonds for you. 25 to 2800. And then here we are with our 8888 from Michael. And that is just, you know, again, I always like to point out some emerald cuts are going to have a little bit less color through the center. That is not the case here with this stone. This stone has no problem giving that same consistency, that same neon, that same big and bold color all the way through the stone all the way to that core center. And there it is. Isn't that a good one? She's going to love that Zambaran, don't you think? It's got a great feel to it, great look to it. Thank you, Marcy. All right, so here we are, 8888. And then um, we're working on that cigar band. And then think about where we're at per carat. Let's just think about that 8888. I know we're looking at a pretty extraordinary diamond weight too. But, you know, to get a stone that size, always more of a unique stone. Anything in emerald cut that size, don't see it very often. So that's 8888. And then we do have, I'm going to get give a second on that request. I do have that yellow diamond. And um, also a pot of Eva has come down. So that's probably worth seeing. It's a round actually. And it's still a really close to one carat stone. So we'll see that coming up as well. Before we go, hey, if you have any other last minute requests, we're down to less than 30 minutes in the show. So I do want to just put it out there. If you have any requests or anything you'd like to check on availability and see if it's still here from tonight. As far as our museum wheel, only one piece, the opal is available. We have a Brazilian Pata Eva rose pendant that was here earlier. Uh, we had a gorgeous sapphire piece in a pendant as well that's still available. And that big opal, the big five carat 97 is still here that went truly bright, 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 bold green to blue and back and forth. So those are just a few of the pieces, mostly from our first hour. No surprise. And then let's talk about the Pata Eva coming up. We got a round and if we're going to give jewelry away, I don't see any reason why not to bring out one of our best and boldest. But wait, there might be a cigar band coming out. But look at this. I mean, really? Isn't there? We kind of discussed earlier tonight about how special rounds can be and how it can take a beautiful stone as it is and make it more beautiful. And that is a prime example right there. Pata Eva round, item number 1122942. <clears throat> and thank you, what'd you find? This looks perfect. This looks totally perfect. Before we get into the Pata Eva, since I had this request come in, um, Tony, thank you for again relaying that to me. I, I'm sorry to use a screen name like this, but it's, it's online. So I'm just going to show you the only thing we have in the option of the price range she's looking for, M's mom. We've got something here for you. And it is going to be, well, perfect. I know this is kind of like our previous diamond ring where it sits a little bit, it kind of falls forward because the weight of the ring. So you see here, the band narrows in the back just a bit to make sure it's comfortable. 
four complete rows of all bigger diamonds. This could be popular, not just for our requester, but others as well, because it's triple one, three, four, oh, seven. And we'll get back to that round potty right after this. Just want to make sure we get this request in ASAP. But this has the four rows, 297 in diamonds, each and every diamond here amazing size. These are going to be those columns and rows that are set perfectly together. So they're aligned. So when you have it on the hand, it is perfection. This could be a men's piece. It could be a lady's piece. It really is either or because it is this wide. Take a look at it on my hand here and you'll see what I mean. That's not something I wouldn't call most wider diamond band rings, even wider ones I wouldn't say are appropriate for gentlemen looking for big bold diamond weights, but this one is. And it doesn't just sit flat. It's set on that gold, which is really um, great depth of the gold throughout, even the back of the ring. And you see here, it's 297. They go side to side. I'm wearing a size six. And it just shows you how those diamonds, even if you get a larger size, it's going to go all the way across. Actually, this one might be a little smaller, but either way, just want to show you that those diamonds are going to make sure they go more than halfway around for you so that they keep the top of the finger covered with all the good stuff that we love to see. And just a shade under three carats in diamonds is pretty remarkable. And well, not only is it uh, see, I was worried when you brought this out because I remember this at $59.99 and I thought that's not her price range because you know the deal. It's not just about the diamond weight overall. It's about how big they are to get there. There are not 297 one pointers here. They're big. Clean off the fingerprint on the side. It really is an enormous individual diamond weight that you have here. Look at this depth. I mean, this is what I was trying to relay to you is that there's a lot of gold throughout. This is not just about that top very point there. Look at the depth, even through what is the most narrow point of the band. You see the kind of gold weight we give. It's not the ring you're going to wear through, that's for sure. And it's tempting when you have that much gold up front to really hollow it out, narrow it down, make it paper thin through the back to try and keep the cost doable, right? Gold is not free anymore. When I started in this business, gold was never something we talked about. Everything I sold was in gold and nobody ever talked about it because when it was a you know, few hundred dollars an ounce, didn't matter. It's a different story when it's $2,000 an ounce or more. You have to look at pieces like this and realize it's more than just that two carats 97 in diamond weight. That is really important to recall when you've got something so incredibly special, wearable, probably the piece you're going to wear every day. Remember that we do size up. So if you want to wear this, because this could go really anywhere on the hand, I would say probably best for ring, middle and index fingers because it is so wide and yet it's not going to be $59.99. We are going to get, you know, this is the beauty of requests is we had a specific request for a specific price range and this one did not fall into that. But not only am I going to make sure it gets into her price range, she gave us a nice little range. I'm going to get it to the lower part of the range. And remember, you don't need to be the requester to take advantage of it. You can get it if you're the caller who gets in, in time because we only have a couple available white, yellow, rose. Yes. Don't need to size up on this one. Uh, going to fit true to size on it. And you know what? Not even 3000 or even $29.99 because that still wasn't in the given price range. And that's how much we respect and appreciate your price points if you give us a request and you choose, people say, uh, sometimes they don't want to give a price range. Well, when you do, sometimes it makes the impossible possible. And this is a prime example. It's not even $2,800 or 27 or 26. We're blowing it out for $25.99, well under $1,000 a carat for all those important diamonds and the gold that it's set within, which again, not free when you have that amount of gold. Gold's never free. Even if you have a teeny tiny amount of gold, gold is costly. So when you get a really important gold weight like this has, and you get that wider style from the front to the back to the sides in the depth of the gold too, that's important. So $25.99 back to the pot of Eva, we will go right after this. We'll re revisit the round for you, which is very, very special. And we will share that with you. Okay. That's going to be on its way. And love that one and still I feel like it is kind of leaning a little bit so I'll just prop it up so you can see the visual of those diamonds straight on and see that kind of look you're gonna get that's a great ring classic every day it's bold 
It's not what I would call the wallflower, <laughs> diminutive, petite piece. It's bold, but it's a looker. And truly, gentlemen, think about it as well. I know not all guys opt for diamonds in a wedding band, but if that's your style, and I think it's a great one, if that's your style and you want to go big and bold, this is wide enough to accommodate a larger finger as well. So this is the way to go. Larger hand, larger finger, desire for larger diamond weight. You got it all going on in this ring. So that's it, $25.99. That's the only big cigar band in diamonds we have that is going to be in that happy price point. And that is a good one. Oh, I don't, um, I don't have, let me see actually. Pam is looking for, do we have any peridot in a yellow gold, Andy? Nothing, no peridots, no, no peridot. I have a peridot brooch. Pam, I'll flash it, but I don't have a ring right now. I know we're really light on peridots, so I don't have a peridot. Um, definitely not anything without diamonds. I will show you the brooch. Just I'll flash this for anybody who wants a brooch. It's not a, a pendant as well, but that doesn't mean you couldn't put a chain through the pin. So it just doesn't have a bail per se, which is rather unusual. But take a look. I'll just flash this. If anybody's looking for a peridot brooch that's quite sizable, that's the peridot piece of the night. That's going to be our cushion cut peridot. It's item number 11123724. Then we'll get back to that pot of Yiba. The cigar band is still here in diamonds. 18K and 14K. So you've got one in the white, one in the yellow. I'm not sure, to be honest, which is which, but judging on because they're both also has gotten some satin finishing. So who knows? But um, I'll tell you this, the Peridot is a 680 and has 11 points in diamond. So that's my new Peridot piece. It's going to have the pin right through the back, goes right down the center, top to bottom, or really, again, you can wear a brooch any way you choose. So it can be diagonal, side to side, east to west, north to south, doesn't matter. Just depends on how you put it on. And a beautiful look with all that satin finishing and some actually diamond cutting to the white gold leaves there. That's going to be $19.99 if anybody's looking for a big peridot. Great stone there. Huge, bright, bold, very vivacious, vivid lime greens there. So that's a beauty. And that one's $19.99. Let's go back, though, to our wheel. I just want to flash that. And we'll get into this peridot, uh, the paraiba, rather. We're going to do that. Let's get into the beautiful round paraiba. 1122942 is coming up right now. Here is the round. Wow, this is still so much more than just about the round stone in the middle. And when I tell you we're going to discount it, yeah, we really are. And I know that Pataiba discounting does not happen. So this is the moment. And it's got a 93 point light one carat is what we call that. Round, glistening, dynamic round Pataiba. Then the twisting of this medallion style made up of those tapered baguettes. You have rounds in and out. Do you see here? Do you see here? So framing all that twisting, angled, tapered baguette action, you have the round brilliance. It's a total weight of a carat 42 in diamonds. That is a lot going on. And this makes and creates that beautiful medallion where you're really, Pataibas are pretty demanding, right? So I feel like we have a responsibility and an obligation to make sure the mounting is fit for the stone. And the stone has to be fit for the mounting as well. They have to work together that way. And this is it. Carrot 42 in diamonds. And I'm discounting it. Tonight's the night. We're discounting it. Big time. A lot of callers on the line, but I think they're on the previous band. And maybe the Peridot pin. And so now we're looking at 14 karat. This does stay in the white gold only on this one, Tony. So that's going to be it. I don't think there's any. When you have that concentration of diamonds, especially the baguettes with the rounds, let's try it on. I think you'd really do, you know, Paraiba in general, we keep in the white gold when it's the blue greens. With that amount of white diamond weight, notice there's a little split to the shank on either side there as well. But that is what we usually say medallion styles for pendants. This is the medallion style translated to a ring. Look how vibrant. No special lights, no battery pack behind that stone. That is the cutting paired up with the neon together in one designer ring. And no, 
It is not going to be $16,999 any longer. Huge value coming your way. You know, the more I think about it, Jess, I think you should probably. You know, I'm, I said you didn't need to, and I'm a little different size now because it's about 100 degrees in here. But, um, yeah, I would size up half size on that cigar band. So anybody, Andy, will you make sure that everyone knows if they're getting a cigar band, I would go up a tad. Go up a tad on that cigar band because it was a little snug. Granted, it's really hot in here. But, you know, <laughs> trying to make adjustments for that. You know, like, yeah, everything's going to fit a little snug because you have it. But this is a really good piece. And you know what? $69.99, there's your $10,000 off. We'll make it even better. And we're going to go ahead and discount it even further than six or $5,000. What just happened there? That is not a $49.99 ring. But we are ready to move it tonight. And we have, my goodness, 17 minutes is all we have tonight. 17 more minutes. Tell us what you need to see again. Tell us what you want to see from the vault before we go. It's a Wednesday. Let's deal. But this is not $49.99. It's not 48, 47, 46. What am I doing? I am in that rare position that I can honestly say and feel 100% certain that I'm accurate. I am the only human being on the planet that is discounting Paraiba. There you have it. That is, that's an indisputed fact. There's nobody else in the trade, the wholesale world, the designer retail world, I know we're not talking about a huge sample size. Not everybody has Pata Iba to sell or Pata Iba to offer. But no matter what, if it's their family's business, if it's a loose stone, if it's a finished piece, if it's in a museum, nobody is dealing discounts on Pata Iba. Except me tonight, right now, discount coming up on a nearly one carat. And, you know, for that little bit under one carat it goes, you are having to add value for the fact that it's around. There's that. So you got to consider this because I'm going to tell you the truth here. As always, if that were an oval that was a carat 20, it still wouldn't be as highly valued as the 93 pointer that's around. Because the round, remember how big the rough had to be to manage to cut around in the first place and how wasteful that was to make that choice. So there's a premium. It exists with every single stone on planet Earth. If it can be the most commonplace material. If you cut around, there's a premium. If you cut around, it's wasteful. You can't get around that fact. So you usually can't get around as a result. Got it? So this is how you get the round, save the money, should be more money. It's actually less, all because end of the show, right place, right time, right pot of Eva, take a look at it. It's not even $46.99 or $45.99 either. We're going to blow it out right now. The very first caller, $4,499 only to get you that ring. With almost a carat and a half in diamonds that are larger diamonds for the most part as well. Love that 14 karat gold, a little bit of that split shank on the sides there. Looking so good, bright as bright can be, isn't it? Watch with no light. You don't need no light. Look at that. Full light, no light. Doesn't change the beauty of that stone whatsoever. Full light, oh, it feels like the eclipse, doesn't it? <laughs> we didn't get the full experience out here, so, but you know. That's what it is. Look at that. Doesn't matter. Watch, the color of the stone is not changing. If that were a non-neon stone, you would see the light dim and the stone would dim. The stone's brightness, the stone's color, that would dim as I block the light. That would dim. Oh, wider than that. Oh, boy. Um, we, do, we do for our requester on, Tony, this is YouTube, right? Um, so we do have a wider band. But for our requester, we have a wider band, and it's got four plus carats in diamonds. I believe it's 406 or 405, but it's just not in that under $3,000 price range. It's, um, now, I do believe it's $34.99. So if you would like me to bring it out, I can, but it is outside the price range. But I think it's $34.99, which is not bad at all when you consider it's over four carats in diamonds. So that is something to think about.
and let me know. I'd be happy to bring it out if it's here, and I think it is. So we do have something wider for you if you need it. But again, not under $3,000. So this is the Pata Iba for $44.99. But you got a band, right, Jess? You got one of the wide cigar bands? Who was that? Uh, oh, wonderful. And is, is Alyssa getting a band as well? Something else? Oh, good. Jason, you got a band earlier, right? Diamond band? You did? Who was that? Do you remember? Thanks, Ronald. All right. So again, um, M's mom, let me know if you want to see it. All right, next up. Let's go to it. Hmm, what are we ready for? A recap? We still have our 18 or 17 karat tansy. I think we need to see the slice earrings real quick, and we need to see the pendant with all the sapphires one more time. Look at this pendant. I don't know, maybe it was just, again, first hour deal. Take a look. This is the sapphire and diamond pendant, purples, pinks, and pod. The triple P and their pair shapes and marquise cuts, and it's item number 1123694. This is that sapphire combo. Five marquees at the top, four pair shapes at the base. It is a pendant, not a pin. Just dependent with the bail where I'm holding it at the um, section where the marquise cuts are. It's 18 karat solid gold and it's 455 of sapphires. It does have a little movement. There is purposely a little hinge where one piece meets the other. So it's slightly articulated. And it also is, I, I tell you right now, that price that I gave this whole piece would be really worthwhile for just that pod parasha. That's that more orangey pink you see. And that's a true pod parasha, by the way, in that centralized pear shape. That's gorgeous. This one stays in the white gold as is. It was $49.99. I got it down. Below $1,500. Here's what it looks like from a distance on the hand so you can see the length that it's giving you. A lot of nice length here, but not oversized. It's not, you know, nothing too dramatic. But you see this little movement? It's subtle, guys. It's just why they do this. It's just like showing off. Like we want to put in all the special designer features we can. So they gave it a little hinge so that as you're wearing it, if you have a little extra movement, someone might see that articulation to it. It's not even $14.99, it's $1,399 only. And that's gonna be it. $13.99 on a new tonight, Pod Parasha purple and pink, sapphire and diamond. It's like to me, it's like a floral up top and shooting stars at, at the underside. It's just so pretty. The drape it has, we're gonna show it on the neckline, Tony, real quick for everyone as well just in case you haven't seen that yet, just to see that colorway that it has. And just shamelessly, it matches the outfit really nicely. So, you know, I would like to say that was planned, but it wasn't. So there we go, $13.99 if you'd like it. So we'll go right back on up close. That's a great value on a sapphire piece. And then I think we need to show that opal again because that opal, it's gonna be my third and final time showing it tonight. And then we still have the Pata Eva. I will get you a last look at the diamond earrings. These were the slice earrings that everyone lost their minds over a few months ago that we sold out of. And then there's one other pair that magically appeared. Sometimes, you know, the inventory can be somewhat scattered. So sometimes there's a piece that, you know, ended up in the wrong place. So we've got one more pair of slice earrings, which are those big diamond presents, but in a lighter weight, meaning, um, not heavy to wear. So we've got those coming up as a second little recap. And this one's verifying right now. It's a lot of sapphire weight for $13.99, especially when you're in these exotic colors all put together. Different tones of purples, different tones of pink purples, and then the Pod Barasha really just the centerpiece. I think the eye and the focal point goes to that Pod Barasha because, hey, it's really rare. They're all rare though. That one's gone. You've got it. Thank you. Just got that one. Let me show, um, we'll stay here on the hand, Tony, because I'm going to show those earrings that are a drop earring. It takes me just a second to set up these shepherd's hooks here, but take a look at 1119775. Take a look at those. There are slice earrings. They have a great lightweight feel. They have a great big look and it's going to be triple one ninety seven seventy five, and the sapphire piece did sell. So just got that one. And then here's the shepherd's hook earring. That's a carat 86 in diamonds yes still natural mine from the year diamonds but instead of being faceted in a traditional deeper way they've got this kind of sliced appearance where they are translucent with the great sheen they have each and every one of the diamonds is bezel set and then it's framed 
didn't mean to hit it there. It's framed with a pear shape. So overall, it's a pear shape, but each of these diamonds are free form cuts. They've got a great length to them, inch and a half, light as a feather. They really are easy to wear and they're $5.99, but they stay in the yellow gold. So that's our last pair of that particular designer style in earrings. I just love the way they shimmer. It's almost, it's not really transparent like glass. They have a little more of a sheen to them. It's more translucency with almost a silvery metallic luster. So very, it's almost like they're more of like a rough cut diamond. They still have a kind of a rudimentary facet pattern to them that's front and back the same. You can see here that if we show them the other way, they're gonna appear the same. So from the back, they look the same way. They have that same kind of sheen, that same translucency. So even though there is a front and a back, just the way the shepherd's hook is done, there is not a front and a back to the way that the diamonds will look. So in other words, a lot of us value how a diamond or earring looks from the back is because a lot of times if you have short hair, your hair is up, people will see the back of your earring. It's not just where they are only going to see the front. So that's a beautiful look and they're $5.99 and we're verifying on those. And then I'm going to recap my big opal and I think that's everything from, let me see if there's anything else we need to recap. I think that'll be a complete sellout on the show though. And well, it's good timing because we only have seven minutes left. So the question is, is there anything else we can show you? Anything we can bring out, anything you're looking for that we can make this last seven minutes count for you, we'd love to do so. Jason, do you have the earrings? $5.99 only, only one pair. They stay in the yellow gold. That's it. And that's a remarkable price. You don't get $600 for nearly two carats and diamonds together very often. Okay, back to the wheel we're going to go because now I'm going to show you the opal one more time. They say third time's the charm, and I'm hoping that's the case. Because I don't understand really why it's here. It's so amazing. And it's item number 1123655. Mm, and I'll zoom back because you got to see the length and the whole perspective here. It's wild. It is wild. It's a five carat 97 lightning ridge black opal platinum in 18 karat gold. Really, I can say we've never had a mounting like it, ever. Never have we seen anything quite like this. And this is solid on the sides. You have the bezel set Asher diamond. Then you've got the pave surrounding that where you see yellow metal, that's your 18K. Where you see white metal, that's your platinum. And that's the other side. And then wait till you see how this looks. I was showing it, I thought the most interesting view of it earlier tonight was the across the room having this on and how visual those bright bright greens were from all the way across the room which um, if i'm lucky enough to do it again i will and this one is going to be 29.99 i still don't get it that was a piece i was expecting to be 20 grand or more and here it is for 29.99 remarkable value there And let's see if anybody would like it. We still have our slice earrings. Go figure. <laughs> still have the diamond carrot 86 slice earrings for you. Oh, and I did have a gold quartz, so we'll show that. And now there's one more opal that I, you know, it's funny. It's just some, some nights are just interesting, right? We have two opals that were incredible tonight and this one and that one. They're both still here. And that's what I have from the show. So this was the piece from the wheel where everything else from the wheel is gone except for our black opal where it's got a little more same thing blue and greens but just different patterns as they always do now if you want the platinum piece on the left side that's going to give you a 347 black opal with 21 points in diamond set in platinum that one on the left is only 1777 so the question is which one would you prefer tonight do you maybe the maybe the right side's just too big and too bold for your preference well the 347 is still sizable, but not quite as oversized. So two great options for our Opal lovers tonight. Love that we have them here for you and choices are good. And then let me still show you if you're thinking that one is only green. No, it is not. Let me move it around a bit so you can see the really cool way that this kind of goes from blue to green to blue to green to blue to green. And let me just show that again from across the room because that's what I was so mesmerized at is not just the colors, but the size that's and I look down at it, as you see the bright greens, I look down and see blues. So it's fascinating, really. It, it is, it's kind of like, again, this is a phenomenon known as play of color. It looks like a color change stone without having to change your light source to see it. It really does go from blue to green. Do you see it right there? Blue to green. It's amazing. 
It's amazing. And that, the fact you can see it, and you're not just seeing it as green. It looks like a neon fluorescent, bright as can be, lime green. That's the difference. That's, that's the difference. That doesn't just look like an emerald. It looks like a supernatural neon green. That's what's so cool about it. And you see we're now in our final three minutes of the show. Don't forget, we're back to do it again tomorrow night. So I hope you'll join me from 7 o'clock to 10 p.m. tomorrow. That's all Pacific time. We start at 7 Pacific, 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern for all of our Monday, Wednesday, Thursday weeknight shows. So make sure you're with us tomorrow night because we're going to have a lot of exciting things as we always do on Thursdays. Thursday's the sleeper show. It's the sleeper where, yeah, the people who know, they know. The people who are with us, they know. One of the best shows of the week. So you got to make sure and join us for that tomorrow at 7. Make sure you're here right at the start, too, because you're not going to want to miss how I start the show. But here we are looking at either 1777 on the left, 2999 on the right. Let me know which one is your preference. And let's try on the platinum piece on the left side so you can see how sizable that is. And, and maybe again, if you want the blues and the greens, maybe you want them all present at the same time. That's what you get here in that almost floral take. It's almost like swirls or wraps or florals. And that again is 1123388-1777 for this one. So that's the 347. It's still going to look larger. It's still an opal. So it's still going to look more like a six or seven carat if it were another type of stone. But you get it with those beautiful diamonds. Now, 21 points, that's interesting because it does look like more, doesn't it? It looks like a lot more. So if you're thinking the same thing, I completely agree. Gives you a lot more wow factor than 21 points in diamonds might indicate because you see it there from afar and how they really wrap around the sides. And then, of course, you get that really striking. This one for only $29.99 over here, platinum and 18K. Just the metal weight alone is so impressive. So looks like that's how we'll wrap our, our evening. If there's anything you have questions on or want to check on availability, there's not much else here. I think we got our elongated fire opal and maybe our gold quartz. So I'll flash that. Oh, and the Pata Iba round. Pata Iba round is here for $44.99. Here's the gold quartz that we started the show with. Full circle moment, $9.99. If you want that two carat 80 gold quartz in the yellow now, but you can change it. These two pieces have to stay as they are. But this gold quartz, this 280 with that really distinctive pattern. It's almost like if I flip it the other way, it's like you almost see the letter C almost forming the way that's done. So I just, I kind of like when these stones almost look like pictures and they paint a pattern or a picture that's very specific. So that was $9.99 in this gold quartz that I'm holding. So if you'd like that, you can grab it. Those are a few of our items remaining available from our three hours. Thanks so much for being with us for it. We're back tomorrow night, as I said, 7 o'clock Pacific, 9 p.m. Central Time, 10 p.m. Eastern. We hope to see you all right here back with us and we'll enjoy a Thursday night together full of great jewelry and great values. And for now, we want to thank you for watching and shopping with us tonight on this Wednesday. Thanks so much so much. We really appreciate you one and all. And from all of us at TV on, we thank you. I'm Lauren Blair. I hope you have a great rest of your evening, a great Thursday, and we will rendezvous tomorrow night at seven o'clock. I'll see you then.